I want to hear Eric the Midget give his recap? Sure. Let's hear. This is a preview of the show he's going to do, I guess. Yeah. Eric. Good morning. Uh, tell me something in a quick, sort of concise a way. A synopsis, a short thing. You know, uh, the, your most important point. Well, I think that all the girls left, well, okay, with the exception of two, all except two did fairly well to good. You don't care two, about music, do you? The two that I think did the worst was Brenna and... Uh, Connect Sky. Right. Those two did the work. The black chick with the giant lips? Yes. Yeah. And, and Brenna, the one with the major attitude. Both yeah, 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 she yeah. She was horrible. All She's horrible. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're right. Those two will be out. So are they still throwing out another two this week? Is that the deal? I don't know. I wish they'd throw them all out. <laughs> I really do. I, I just, I, I just like, you know, like, you know, this lawsuit proves that I was CBS Radio. If you took Simon off that show for one week, there'd be no show. Oh, why? how could you watch it without Simon? You wait for him. The whole thing's boring until he opens his mouth and gives you what the real opinion is. That's right. It doesn't matter what Randy says. It doesn't Nothing. matter what Paul says. It doesn't even matter what Ryan Seacrest says in between. Right. It should be the Simon Cowell show. Yeah. That's it. It's the singers and Simon. That's you, don't, you, you don't need anything else. The rest I, of the, I, the, the whole thing doesn't work. In fact, they don't even need the singer. They lose him. <laughs> they and play him tape. They lose him and that entire franchise is over. In fact, he should just go somewhere else, unless Moonves can sue him. <laughs> Actually, Robin's right. They don't need the singer. Just let him judge. It. Like if you're, anything, if you got someone in your family who's a painter. Let him come over and just berate them. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you, Eric the Midget. That was his synopsis. I, Everybody know, I, was fine. I, I, did you really want to hear more? No, but he uh. really couldn't care about music. <laughs> he just likes looking at those girls. Yeah. Whack Pack Feedback. CBS sues Howard Stern. Whack Pack expresses their opinions. It's fucking bullshit because I was just coming up there and kicking their asses, bitch. I said, that's not right. It's bullshit. He ain't even doing nothing. They need to mind their own damn business. John <laughs> is a card searcher and he can fuck himself. What? a fucking crook. Well, we're living in a country now where everybody's a suing everybody, and uh, that's just a thing to do now. If you don't get your way, you sue somebody. But I, I think it's bullshit because uh, they, they, they told him it was okay, I reckon. They, they had the button there. They could have mashed or cut him off any time they wanted to. So they suspended him one time for talking about it, and then they let him come back. I think it's just a bullshit lawsuit, but you never know how these lawsuits are going to go. You know, there's two things that are illegal is blackmail and entrapment and this to me sounds like entrapment to longer and uh less movement sound like two complete idiots those are my actual lawyers. Jesus. That's the, <laughs> the midget for the defense you got to get tim in here so, to talk you... about um eric the midget he was, I was talking about it in my office. He goes, I'll take that little fucker's uh, wheelchair, wrap it around his neck, and I'm going to fucking kill him. <laughs> he's so mad at him. Oh, is he annoying? Well, he left me a message on Friday saying that he's very upset, that he feels he's being neglected. And Tim goes, we call him every day. He goes, I spent a thousand dollars on that little shit. Eric. Good morning. Good morning. Let, let, me, let me explain the world to you, okay? Because no one does because of, yeah. of your considerable handicaps. But let me tell you how the real world works, okay? Think about it. Nobody cares about you. Nobody ever would give you a show in any way, except for my dumb channels. Tim calls you enough. There is no end to the amount of attention you need on a daily basis. The more attention we give you, the more you seem to need. You're like an endless vortex of need. Does any of this make sense to you? Well, it's from here to L.A., it's 10 hours or more to get down there. I don't, I need to know in enough advance notice all the details. I mean, because I was getting asked by my dad every day, has Jim called? Has Jim called? And I had to keep saying no. I have left him messages. I'm waiting 
Eric, Eric, it'll it will all be worked out. I mean, who else is really yeah. offering television and radio uh, shows to you? Uh, I mean, is there really anyone else that's in the bidding? What are you so worried about? Why are you carrying on like that? Tim, are you taking care of this kid or what? I don't even want to talk to the guy anymore. Wow. I've had it up to here with the thinking the guy's nuts. Tell me what's been going on. He's out of his freaking mind. Is this why you got he, into radio? To exactly, with Eric yeah. So I get a, a, a note from Gary this morning. He says, hey, by the way, who's handling uh, Eric the actor or Eric the astronaut or Eric the, you know, whatever? <laughs> and I say, what? <laughs> and I got an email I just forwarded to you of a note that, or a, a voicemail that he sent me on Saturday stating, I'm going down to L.A. and I just want to let you know I tried to call, blah, 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 whatever. I'm like, whatever, okay. But I'm done with it. I washed my hands with it. It's costing over whatever it is to, to have this guy do a show, which is going to be a train wreck, uh, you know. <laughs> and then I'm going to catch shit for it because it doesn't sound right. right. So uh, it's like, you know what? Forget it. So you're you're out of the whole Eric the. Uh, I'm out of the Eric the actor business. <laughs> yeah, so this, I understand on his MySpace account he's Eric the Idol expert. Yeah. Oh, for really? whatever. Yeah. In his own mind. What Eric a... the Idol expert. So what he's done now is uh, Tim has passed it off to Jim. That might be the gayest nickname I've ever heard for MySpace, Eric. Eric the Whoa. Idol expert. Why? Because American Idol. Even though I watch it, I know it's gay. <laughs> you don't want your nickname to be. Eric the Idol expert. Do you understand that on any level? Well, you, you asked me all those questions a couple of weeks ago, and I raffled off the answers really quick. Yeah, but I'm saying that's that nothing to be proud me... of. That's nothing like, like, like I'm an expert on Superman comics. But I don't make that my identity because it's, re it's kind of funny at a party if I whip that out. A girl might think that's charming for two seconds. But if you make it your identity, if you become Eric the Idol expert, you don't see that that's not... Ah, eh, forget it. You know what? It's cool. Howard, it's not like he's going to go out and hit 20 home runs. No, but I know he wants to have an image or something. Yeah, I know. I know. Desperately. Desperately. All right, so where does it stand with his show? It'll be on Wednesday night. Wednesday night. Right. I, my money is he doesn't even show up. Well, we'll see. If he doesn't, I'm going to take that $1,000 and fly out to L.A. and strangle the little guy. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Eric, do you know you're going, what is it, Wednesday night? Do you know your show is Wednesday night? Yeah, the only thing I'm not sure of is the directions of how to get from the hotel to there and also what one of the two Howard channels. I got two words for you. Broadcasting. Map Quest. <laughs> you know, it would be a good show if you strangle Eric on the air. Yeah, how about Eric and Tim? <laughs> I haven't even been given an address to the studio. You need maybe, the address. Hey, maybe the map quest. Maybe, maybe, Tim's maybe Eric is... Is Eric telling the truth, though, Tim? Do you sure you, you've given him all these we'll, details? We'll give him the, the, the address of the place today. He'll get it all. He'll get it yeah. all. Yeah. You're going to get it all today, Eric. Okay. Right. Right down, hey, Eric, do me a favor. Write, put down on a list, because I'm sure you got some time today. <laughs> put a list together of all the things that you need so when we contact you today at around noon Eastern time that you'll have it all wrapped up, okay? <laughs> Let's start with that. Be careful. Then begin like mini elliptical machine. <laughs> <laughs> no brown M and M's. A mini steak. I want Jessica Alba nude. <laughs> yeah, the Eric the midget uh, called us with a voicemail, and it oh, seems... he must have been thanking you for his opportunity. No, no, he's very upset. <laughs> Here's Eric the midget, just to keep you up to date on what's going on in the world of Eric the midget. Hey, Richard. Yeah, we're finding out that. My show last Wednesday was set up to be an ambush on me. You know, I've put up with almost four years of crap from you guys. I'm done. I know I've said that in the past, but this is absolutely the last straw. You know, usually I'm a person of my word, and when I've said that in the past, I have not stuck to my word, but this, I am, I am sticking to my word. I am done with the show. Not going to call in anymore. Not going to leave any more messages for you or for anyone. <laughs> All right? So, talk to you. Er, bye. Talk to you. Er. Yeah. I just... Talk to you. Er. <laughs> <laughs> I just said I'm never going to talk to anyone. Talk to you. Er. Talk to you never. Er. <laughs> So 
I think he's done with the show. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, that we're the reason it was an ambush show. No, People... no, no, you know what he's talking about. He's talking about Richard's call. He oh. thinks you gave him a whole hour show so Richard could <laughs> call in and ask what his midget dick looked like. <laughs> Well, it's funny, too, because he says he's done with the show, and then he leaves another message an hour later saying, if you can get Carrie Underwood on his next show, then he'll do it. <laughs> he left another message about that. Cause I'm just I, looking for your call. What is yours called? It's on the Eric the Midget I know. Page. I can't find it, though. It says Richard calls. Uh, I can't find it. There's so many in this. Richard call. Ralph calls. Eric. Gary the Retard. I don't know. Where's your call? Booze. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, thanks. Foiled again. L later on in the show, somebody called in his Les Moon Vest. And he goes, I highly doubt that this is Les Moon Vest, but if it is, thank you. We have a call. Les, you're on with Eric, the actor. Hi, Eric. This is Les Moon Vest. This is a spectacular show. I'll tell you what. Um... Simon Davis looks like he's not panning out here with our newly named CBS radio division. And um, I'd like to maybe hire you. Let's uh, start talking, babe. What do you think? Well, somehow I highly doubt because the lawsuit that this really is less. But I guess thanks for the offer. Well, I, I told I just in case it is. <laughs> so he's, he's never calling in again. Except in an hour. <laughs> What what page was I on that I had all that? Uh, it should yeah, be, I, I think it. Gary Preview page. Mm -hmm. Let's see, Eric the Mish. I'll never find it's it again. Gary Preview too. <laughs> oh. Gary Preview. So many show. pages. I wish a radio show and you guys and you try and find some of this stuff. This is like the yellow pages. <laughs> I know. Pages. All right, so here's Eric the Midget calling you after he said he's never calling in again. Yeah. He changed hey, Richard, this is Eric. I was thinking if Ralph wants to produce my show one step in the right direction, and tomorrow when he goes with Howard to the um, David Letterman appearance, uh, someone that I would definitely like to have as my first guest to my retry of the show would be... Uh, Carrie Underwood, and she will be David Letterman's guest besides, you know, of course, Howard Stern. So, you know, if he wants to do any producing work on the show, one, like I said, one step in the right direction, and yeah. would he tomorrow night when he's with Howard sit there and talk to Carrie yeah, Underwood yeah. for a few minutes about possibly doing... Yeah, maybe we'll chloroform her and kidnap her and bring her on the Eric the Midget show. <laughs> and he repeats it 17 times. I know. Well, I added I thought he it. wasn't going to call you anymore. I guess he changed his mind. He had a change of heart. Well, he wants to do the show again. I thought he was done with us. Mm -hmm. no, That's what it sounded uh, like, yeah. We want to do another show. Yeah. Well, then he saw. He must have saw that Carrie Underwood was going to be on with you. Oh, nuts. I have to do deals <laughs> with the devil again. Uh, <laughs> just when I thought it was out. I spoke too soon. Oh. <laughs> Let me give you an update on Eric the Midget. Eric the Midget, when we last left you, said that he was upset. We gave him his own show, and he feels the show was a setup. So that we could do what to him? So that Richard Christie could call up and oh. ask about his small midget cock. I see. We would do all of that just to get that phone call in? Yeah, it's crazy. You know, um, let me see if I can even find that. I should play that one more time where Richard called in and asked about his <laughs> small midget cock. Hey, anybody know where that is? Can you give me a, a hint? I think there's an Eric page. <laughs> a whole Eric page. Because this is this is a whole long thing I gotta turn you on to. You know what? Here's the I gotta get that for you. There was an Eric page and we got rid of it because we just weren't using it anymore. Oh, okay. All right. Well, whatever. So what happened was Richard called up during Eric the Midget show and said, "Hey, w w tell us about your small midget cock." <laughs> and then Eric said, "That's it. I'm sick of you guys. I'm never calling in again." That okay, Howard, sounds like Richard Christie to me. Yeah. Uh, the call's on your page in pink. Okay, thank you. 
was that? So Eric then uh, voicemailed us and said, look, I am never calling into the show. He, he, that's it. I'm he was done, done with us. Yeah, done with the show. Done. Then he called back a few minutes later on the voicemail and said, if we see Carrie Underwood at Letterman, he would like Carrie Underwood on his show. On his next show. Yeah. Now, how could he be done with us and have a next show? Then he wrote an email, which is three pages long, or it's a blog or something, about how we suck and how we are just awful people, oh, you know, really? basically. Then he called in just recently on the voicemail to say that Will screened all the calls and made them all negative. <laughs> which is not even. Will wasn't even screening the calls. Will wasn't here. So here is the latest voicemail from Eric the Midget. Hey, Will. It's me. I just had two questions to ask you. One is referring to my show. You know, I want to know are you that damn vindictive? that you would sit there for the hour and block all the positive calls with the exception of three? Oh, you didn't think I'd find that out, did you? You piece of shit. Yeah, people on my they throttled you out, you fucker. Someone wrote me telling me that you sat there for an hour blocking all the positive calls with the exception of my aunt, Jessica, and Ralph. Well, here's a news flash for you, dumbass. If Howard wanted me to fill the full hour talking, a good idea would not be having idiots calling me up telling my voice sucks. Doesn't really give me confidence to talk, dumbass. Doesn't that make sense to you? Or is your brain that dumb that you can't even get that? Uh, another thing, I think someone that survived cancer like you did, would have a little more compassion and a little more sympathy towards disabled people and not come up with dumbass ideas like fight videos between disabled campers. You are a heartless shithead. Have to respond or forward, press <laughs> one. Now, this is a great example of a negative call. Now, as far as I know, Will wasn't even screening the calls. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was, uh, that was, you know, what can well, I tell who you? who ratted Will out? <laughs> I don't know. Somebody probably wrote Eric the Midget yeah. on MySpace and just tried to rile him up. But anyway, I don't know. So that... we haven't talked to him in person. He's just no. leaving email and voicemail. Yes. He, can't, he hasn't completely stopped. And and then this blog, Gary, said, which I can't read. It's mind-numbing. It's, it's, those assholes can't let that little post they made on here go. I found out from someone on here that Will, during my show, let all those negative calls through and only let three positive calls through from Ralph, Jessica, and my aunt. Plus, when I called on the 10th, that ass Will's first words out of his mouth were saying something so sick and retarded. He accused me of having the 13-year-old country girl on the show because I was in love with her. <laughs> I met her whole family last summer. They're nice and cool, and they have a talented daughter. I'm just trying to help them get, get her name out there. Well, if he gives up his radio show and this show, how's he going to get her name out? I don't know. Anyway, but, but it, no, and, and Gary says there's funny parts to it, but you'd have to read the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. You know. Oh, look who's on the phone. Who? Eric the Midget. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I thought you weren't calling in anymore. I was just calling in this one time. Oh. No, you're not. Why don't you yes, give it up? I am. It's the only no. one time. Why are you calling? The choice that's street that was reported yesterday on the news. Howard 100 well, News? Yes. What? Well, okay. Will still has it in his head that I am in love with that 13-year-old. I'm not. Not at all. There is no way that I would be in love with anyone under the age of 18. All right. I didn't know that. What? I believe you. What are you talking about? So no. Will, I mean, still needs to be fired? Yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> an allegation that people get arrested for being in love. You're not, we know you're not in love with a 13-year-old, okay? How do you like how American Idol's going? Bucky got voted off. Uh, yeah, two weeks after he should have been. Yeah. Too bad you gave up your American Idol show. We wanted more shows from you, but I guess you didn't want to do them. Well, I'm, Who's going to win American Idol? 
for the guys, I'd say, I hate to go against you on this one, but Chris, for the guys... If You're not going against me. Yeah, there are no guy winners and girl winners. Who's going to win American Idol? Well, I'm just giving... If a guy wins... Who's going to win American Idol? <laughs> Answer the question. Well, my my pick is Catherine. That's a, Catherine McPhee. Yes. Yeah, I believe she will win, too. I don't even want to talk to him about this anymore. I've totally lost interest. All right. Robin lost interest. Well, see, I thought your pick would have been Taylor because... Don't care. Uh, don't don't care. care. When you apologize to us, then we'll let you back in with your opinions. Well, see, I have no problem with you yourself. Well, why do you always uh, punish us? You get upset with Will, you're never going to call us again. Yeah. Well... Don't, don't call Will. <laughs> what, are you, what are you taking it out on me for? Well, uh, i got to go anyway. i got too much to do today. All right, Eric, thank you. All right. Hope to hear from you Hi. again. Thank you. Eric, the acting midget. <laughs> Robin lost interest, and I yet to have gained any interest. <laughs> After all I've done for this guy. It's terrible, yeah. He's, he's always, like, threatening me. And I gave him a radio show. I got him booked on a television show. I got him money. You couldn't be nicer. Couldn't be nicer. I'm never calling you again. I'm never home again. As Will said, I love a 13-year-old. Hobnobbing with celebrities. I didn't say it. Will needs to be fired. You won't make love to a woman under 18? Nope, not what at all. What if she's 17 years old and 11 months? I'd have to wait that extra month. All right. He's been waiting all this time. <laughs> the reason I don't call in is one of your minions is plotting against me. <laughs> All right. See you later. Yeah, why should I talk to him? Yeah. Stop with the threats. Right. Okay, here's email. Um, people angry with Jeff the Drunk getting prizes. Stop st sending that asshole free shit. Between him and Eric the Midget, you've given more money and prizes to these ungrateful freeloaders. Oh, yeah, I got a uh, phone message from Eric the Midget. He's prepared to come back on the air, but he has conditions. Uh, how will we find out the conditions? I'm going to play it for you. This is a voicemail. Gary, where's my Eric the Midget voicemail? Please. Which, which... Uh, Gary, preview page two in green. In green. All right, thank you. Now, oh, here it is. Hey, Will, it's me, Eric. I was calling, um, because you know, I know I was going to start possibly calling it, but... Now, after further thinking about it, I don't want to call in until after Stern agrees to a few things. And, you know, I, there are a lot of people on my space that would like to hear me start calling in. So I'm sure that they would probably wish that he would agree to these. Number one, take me out of the whack pack. There's nothing wacky about me. If the only th reason why I'm in the whack pack is because I'm a little person and with a, a bad voice and in a wheelchair, that's just wrong. And the other thing is stop making fun of the voice. I, I realize I have an awful voice. I don't need one making fun of it and it's getting old and last but not least the Eric the Midget nickname and also Eric the Astronaut have got to go <laughs> permanently no so if he agrees to those then I'll start hauling in and tell him nope so what do I got to do take away everything funny I, I zoned out what did he say he says I got to stop calling him Eric the Astronaut or Midget yeah I heard that but what was I the I can't other make fun of his voice Oh. And uh, something else. Then it's take no him out reason of the whack to have him on. Oh, i got to take him out. He says, if the only reason I'm in the whack pack is because I'm a little person and I have a funny voice and I'm in a wheelchair. First of all, that, those are amazing criteria of for the whack pack. That's every reason why you're in the whack pack. You're triple threat. <laughs> That's all you hear, right? You don't even... Right. <laughs> I don't know how to follow those demands. <laughs> 
How would we not make fun of his voice? Most people only have three, uh, like mm. two things to be in the way, like hypercharic, uh, the voice, obesity. Well, you could say he might be retarded, too. All right, wait a minute. You know what? Call him up and ask him what he would do. Uh, the how you know why would we have him on the show if we did all that stuff? Because he's interesting and he's and he's so fascinated with his opinions on American Idol. Well, we have to uh, disabuse him of, or whatever that word is of those. Disabuse. <laughs> we have to we have to negotiate with him a settlement. <laughs> no, we have to tell him those things don't exist. He's not interested. Who's this, Eric the Midget? I thought he doesn't call in anymore. What has he got to say? Is this my old American Idol? Is this my old friend Eric? Yes. <laughs> what are you doing on our airwaves? I'll disseminate the information. Hello, Howard. <laughs> what do you want, Eric? I just wanted to say that I want to be your spokes midget. <laughs> <laughs> Heard you're contemplating regular radio. <laughs> I knew it. I knew you'd be back. Big time last night. Oh, how dare you. My A's won. Your A's. Hey, Eric. My A's Not for nothing, I'm glad to hear you, but I thought you don't call into the show anymore. Apparently just to bash the Yankees. You know, Will is still here. (laughs) Yeah, right. Yeah, we didn't fire Will. That was one of your demands. We got your list of demands, (laughs) and we we comply with none of them. Will, Will apologized, so there's... No problems with Will anymore. Oh. Oh. When did he that happen? before me. <laughs> <laughs> so, there's still some issues on the table. You don't want to be called Eric the Midget or Eric the Astronaut again. <laughs> no. <laughs> and what else? He doesn't want to be made fun of? <laughs> and he doesn't want to be made fun of. <laughs> Dude, we make fun of everything and everyone, including ourselves. I know, but I don't want my voice being made fun of. Oh, forget about it. <laughs> no. That's my asset. What? <laughs> For the record, I have the same demand. Who's that, Jeff the Drunk over there? That's right. You don't want him making fun of your voice? No, and my mother, you that, motherfuckers. That I don't want Danny die. Who's that, Crackhead Bob over there? That, that too. Can I make fun of your voice? I don't like that. Dot D and D dot don't like it D dot. You know what that's like though? It's like a little kid playing copycat with you saying every word that you're saying. It's annoying. It's infantile. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Now you know the show. <laughs> we'll infantile. stop then. <laughs> the show is on a fourth grade level. It's like a little kid playing copycat. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, phone calls. I got a. I Make got a statement. I got uh, live coming in today. I got Joey G calling us from the Sopranos. Oh, when I'm going back to New York again soon. Soon. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to come back and you know be video with you. You know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck you, retard. Oh, shut up, honey. But you know uh, what? But when Gary... I come to New York, you're going to Kent. You're going to eat the best you hot dogs out of the vending machine. Hold on a second, Baba Booey. What? Here's the deal. Um, uh, AP, UPI Reuters have all passed on it. CBS National News is willing to do it if they can send a camera over right away. CBS? CBS? CBS. What? National News. CBS, you know, the, Why are the other guys passing? Because they're afraid to talk to me on the air? That's correct. Wow. <laughs> Why are people so afraid to talk on the air? Well, what well, are you doing to people? I talk on the air. Unbelief. Do they think we're going to make them ride the Sibian or something? <laughs> I mean, it's weird. Uh, hold on one second. I'll get right back to you. Hey, Gary, Eric, i got to go. Okay. Right. Eric, I like that you called in. Call me back uh, tomorrow. We'll, we'll continue this. Okay. All right, Eric, the person. Thank you. All right. Er- Eric, the boar. Let me, let me think more about this, and I'll get back to you. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Gary. Okay. Thank you, Eric. Eric the person. We can't call him Eric the alien even. <laughs> Ralph, you're on the air. Yeah. Did you get my message? Yeah. Where were you? I was at the gym. Is oh. that Ralphie Cakes? <laughs> yes. <laughs> at least the uh, Cakes guy is the top guy. Hey, play, play my message to you on the air. I was a little drunk when I left that. Were you? Yeah. <laughs> you left me two messages. Was this last night? Yeah. You were drinking? Yes. Let me see if I can find it. I forgot it was during the week. <laughs> you forgot what day it was. You yeah. were loaded? That's funny. I wasn't loaded. I just had a glass or two of wine. You had a couple of bottles of wine. Let's see. Which, there, was, there was 
one that was completely ridiculous. He left me two. I left you one as my father and one as uh, yeah, one as Eric the Midget. <laughs> Play my one as Eric the Midget first. Oh, then, then I'm going to have to go back and find the other All one. All right, just play them both. Hold on, man. I called him once to comment on American Idol as my father. <laughs> yeah, that was... You really are sad. You're calling people about American Idol. Thank you. I was like, thank you. You know, it's funny. Ralph called me last night, too, and he's like, you watching American Idol? I said, uh, no, I'm watching the Yankees lose 10-1. Yeah. Artie, Artie has a nerve to call me in the middle of American Idol. I did, well, you called me. I called you back. I don't know fucking American Idol was on. <laughs> Ralph must have a, ch a daisy chain he goes through because he was calling me, and I was calling him back. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. I, well, Ralph has a... No, always... I, called, I called Artie like in the afternoon. Ralph always screens his calls, too, because I so you start leaving a message, and you wait to be interrupted. Yeah, drunken Artie's calling me back. He's half asleep. You want to hear Artie's message? Drunken Artie. Okay. I, was, I was laying in bed. <laughs> this is Artie just waking up. Let's... I was waking up. <laughs> Ralph, it's Artie calling you back. I was sleeping all day. <laughs> you ready for yours? Hold on. I, I like... Uh, Make it louder. Sounds like he came out of a coma. <laughs> Make, it, did? Make it louder, Ralph. I can't. Wait, can you hear this? Day nine, twenty, two. Better. P.M. I believe Elliot Yamin will be the next one to leave. Leaving uh, Catherine McPhee and Taylor Hicks. Oh, Christ. <laughs> I still believe Catherine McPhee will win. Thank you. That's downright embarrassing. Yeah, I did better hurry up and get back. And, he <laughs> and Ralph will get and wait a second. together. And here is uh, here, here's Eric the Midget <laughs> calling Ralph. All right, all right. Tuesday, nine twenty-four p.m. <laughs> I like how you're cracking yourself up. At you, least you, Eric... you, you spoke over. Play that back again. At least Eric didn't mention American Idol. You couldn't hear that one? You yeah, play it better. Dude, I'm, I'm well, I, have to go, I have to go like 50 messages to get to it. Oh, Hold on. Can I just rewind there? Oh, forget it. No, it's digital. It's, not that good. it's a digital type of answering machine. Thank you. Hold on. What number was that? 33. Okay. Tuesday, 9. Twenty two PM Tuesday, nine, twenty four PM Tuesday, nine, twenty four PM <laughs> At least Eric didn't talk about American Idol. Eric's on the phone. Oh, what an honor. How about those A's? <clears throat> Ralph, <clears throat> Ralph, remember on the phone I told you the Yanks were losing 10-1. They won 14-13. They won. Yeah, I know. I was, at the gym. I, was, I was at the gym, and I was like, damn, Ar I guess Artie's staying up. It was the greatest game of all time. Hey, Eric. Good morning. <clears throat> Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> oh, wow. Down. <laughs> Make fun of my voice. <laughs> I have three demands. <laughs> One, don't call me Eric the Midget or Eric the Astronaut. <laughs> Don't, he doesn't want to be a member of the Wagon. Oh, uh, wait. And three. <laughs> I am not a member of the Wagon. <laughs> I am not. Dude, Oakland A's suck. Yeah, at least they had the lead to begin with. <laughs> oh, that's something? I thought it was all about winning. I love how he gets pissed, he gets pissed off. You got to be a closer, Eric. <laughs> Taylor Hicks must die. <laughs> Yeah. Who yeah. ever heard of losing a nine-run lead? He's got yeah right. He's he's 
got to call in now because it's the end of American Idol. Right? You figure he can't, he can't. He's he, dying to get to the finale. He wants to be our correspondent. He can't control himself. Hey, Robin, what's wrong with you? Uh, Catherine McPhee was great. Ugh. Yeah, Robin, you say that I do not know anything about music. Catherine was the best. You crazy. all have ten yeah. ears. Wait, I can't hear what Eric's saying. What'd you say? Robin. Catherine was the best of the three, with Taylor Hicks being the next of the three. Eric is correct. No, he's not. Elliot Yamin yeah. was the best. No. Yeah. No, uh, first oh. of all, he's never going to win. He's, a, he's, a, he's retarded looking. <laughs> uh, Taylor Hicks is like looks like Jay Leno, and he like he moves like a like he has palsy or something. Yeah, like Joe Cocker. People, for some reason, find him charming. I know. Oh, he's out this week. I find him annoying. You think he's out and Yamin will be in the final, huh? Yeah, and he'll just no. lose. No, I'm going to tell you. Seriously? And this is the end of this gay discussion? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yamin is out this week. And then it's uh, Catherine McPhee will win the whole thing. Thank you. And that's it. Taylor Hicks will win the whole thing. All right. We'll see. Eric, who do you think's going to win? I think it will be Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going this week? Elliot, hopefully. You don't like him? Uh, well, Elliot, out of the three of them, Elliot kind of got the least warm, you know, was not really well received by the judges. Like, Thank you, Mr. Warmth. <laughs> <laughs> Were you shocked last week when Chris was booted? Oh, definitely. He's, he's not warm. <laughs> you know, I thought he was going to do better. Oh, is Taylor Hicks the, the gray-haired guy? Yeah. Hey, let's compare Ralph's life with Eric the Midget's life. I don't okay. think they're that different. <laughs> I think Ralph stays home all day and Eric stays home all day. <laughs> Eric might do more than me. Eric I would, probably gets... I would actually like to get a job. Yeah, yeah, Ralph just well, isn't work. Different. Ralph could have a job. <laughs> Eric, do you, do you, Eric, do you know a celebrity that you pick out shirts for? No. Well, that's different. How's your sense of style, Eric? <laughs> <laughs> My sense of style, well, just regular, just my baseball t-shirts and <laughs> pants. And... What do you got scheduled for today to do? Oh, uh, not much. Just stay here and... May have to go out to get the tire on the van fixed. That's about it. Wow, you're doing more than me. Tire on the van. Hey, Stamos is here. i got to go, you guys. I was going to say, Eric could pick out Artie's wardrobe, baseball shirt. Yeah, it sounds yeah. like we're like... Stamos going to open up or he's going to clam up? Man? If he clams up, I'm throwing him out. Are yeah. you going to literally just throw him out if he won't talk? Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna put pop rocks up his asshole and. <laughs> yeah, I was talking to him on the phone the other day for like an hour and he's just filming me in on all this stuff. I'm like, dude. This guy know. knows everything that's going on with hot chicks and banging and. Why don't did he bring the hot chick? That would be nice. He's yeah. busy in hotels, hopping fences, and he's all over the place. What are you talking about? Why is he hopping fences? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> hey, maybe you ought to stay on the line for this interview. Because yeah, uh, because he he tells me shit and then I go boy this guy could be the greatest guest ever yeah he's got a right he's got like nine books in him hopping fences oh. sounds oh. like he's getting away from a jealous boy you know, right Howard what what day I'm on the phone with John right and we hadn't talked for a while and he's filling me in on all this stuff right and I get a call waiting I go hold hold on a second let me get the call and I come back he goes what do you have to do man flip the tape <laughs> <laughs> now John Stamos and Eric the Midget had the complete opposite lives yes yeah. polar opposite. Uh, like if John wants to bang Carrie Underwood, he can do it. <coughs> <coughs> Eric, you still there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. You broke his heart, Justin. <laughs> Eric, the bodybuilder. All right, I gotta go. <coughs> um, Howard, <laughs> I heard yesterday that you were on Bubba's home making fun of me. Yeah, I was. I was doing my Eric impression. I wrote him an email thanking him for not getting in on that, making fun of me. Yeah, you know, he, Bubba didn't make funny. I did. I told him I appreciated that he didn't. Well, Eric, why don't why you do start you, doing his show, then? Eric, why do you think it's making fun of you when, like, people do your voice? You just have a fun voice to imitate. It's not a goof on you. I think you're great. You're like the best guest, man. Yeah, no. It's not, you know, I didn't ever have to deal with that kind of thing going through the 12 years of school. And yeah. now here I am, an adult, and I have to deal with... <laughs> well, people probably did it behind your back. Yeah, of course. I mean, the, the worst thing I was ever called in school was 
speed racer can I race down the hall in my electric wheelchair? Yeah, but to your face, that was the worst. Yeah, no, they made fun of you behind your back. Should we call you Speed Racer? Yeah, I would have made fun of you to your face. Yeah. I mean, if you were sitting here, I'd be, you know, polite. Yeah. All I know is yeah. that why is John Stamos so blessed and Eric isn't? You know, that is the rub of life. Life is so unfair. Spread it around. Eric, do you hate guys like Stamos who get more pussy than they can handle? Like, he's, he has to juggle two or three bitches a day. Yeah, he has to turn it down. Yeah, he's with models exclusively. Oh, he, he seems like a nice guy. You aren't envious of his life at all. No. Oh boy. Wow. You're talking about you're talking about jealousy that's off the charts. I mean, he, Eric's probably jealous of me and Benji for getting laid once. <laughs> are you jealous of anyone who gets laid? <laughs> you know, me and Benji are jealous of John's day. <laughs> Eric, you must be craving like human touch and stuff, right? I mean, because the only t human touch you get is when like people wipe your ass. Well, I do that myself. Oh, oh. you can't even get it then. No, seriously, you've got to be craving a girlfriend real bad, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And look at John Stamos. He's jumping fences. Yeah, but he dumps models. <laughs> he moves on. You know who you sound like a little bit, Eric? Oswald Cobblepot. Who's that? The Penguin. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? He sounds exactly like him. Yeah. It's true. Oh, no. He does. <laughs> That speed racer was bad enough. <laughs> now I'll have to live this down. Oh. It, All right, we'll be, call him Oswald Cobblepot. It could be worse. My nose could be gushing with blood. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, I love you, man. You know that. I'm just, I, you know, we can we bust everyone's balls on the show. I'm, I'm we call always... Ralph Gay, Ralphie, Ralphie He's cakes. Ralphie cakes. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Eric. Have a good day and don't bum out. Well, just real quick, you and all your listeners want me to show you a whole lot of gratitude and appreciation and stuff. Well, you know, I would if I would just, you know, if you guys would just stop. You know, with the nicknames. <laughs> oh, forget it, Eric. <laughs> Give it up. At least the nickname part. No, no, Eric. no. No, you can't. You can't. You can't decide what we do. <laughs> you don't owe anybody anything, Eric. Don't listen to those people. You're doing fine. Yeah, you're Eric Demidji, or Eric the astronaut. You choose. But what was that? Race car driver? Speed racer. Speed, speed racer. racer. The speed racer. <laughs> speed racer on the air. I gotta go. I gotta go speak to Stamos. I got a schedule today. Yeah, we want to hear about his love life. Unless you got one, Eric, you want to talk about. No, not at this time. Yeah, I gotta get, I gotta get this kid laid. If you come down here, I get you laid in two minutes with one of these porno hookups. Oh, you could have taken some bonds, Virginia. Oh, I could get Eric laid. Eric, why don't you come to town, man? I know, I know. It's a slam dunk with that uh, broad who just moved to uh, Arizona. What's Tabitha, Tabitha Stevens. Tabitha Stevens. I could definitely get you her. How big's your your peen eye? I don't know. Do you ever measure it? No. You got a tape measure there? No. I need you to measure your penis. And you know what we'll do? Because you're in the wheelchair, I'll just wheel you right into her. She'll be into that. <laughs> we could get her to agree to that. Or you know what I'll do? I'll put you on top of her, and I'll just rock you back and forth. <laughs> oh, baby, oh, baby. You'll use oh, your foot, baby. you know, just keep hitting yeah. it in the butt. I'll put my foot on your ass. You keep... <laughs> and, Eric, everyone has to endure nicknames. You're Eric the Midget. Like, John Stamos is John, the guy who gets laid a lot. <laughs> right. John the player. John the stud. Seriously, how big's your peen? I don't know. Can you get aroused? Yes. You have a boner when you wake up in the morning? Yes. Yeah. You touch it? Sometimes. Is it a big a boner in the morning? Well, how big? I mean, give me a guesstimate. Can you get a whole hand around it? And... Or do you use two fingers? <laughs> no, I guess my whole hand. No kidding. Like mm -hmm. what, six inches? Eight? I've never seen Eric's hands. Are his hands big? Yeah, his little hands. Yeah. I guess it's about somewhere in the... Six to eight, I don't know. You think you're eight inches? Whoa. I don't. That big. 
But six you could do. I bet she's the size of a human pinky. <laughs> Why don't you measure yourself, Eric? Would you measure yourself so we know? I'm not sure I really want that on the air. I mean, that's what Richard tried to ask me in that prank phone call. With it. Oh, come on. Who cares? I didn't answer that. I don't believe you haven't measured it. Brag with the rest of the guys. They all measure. All the time you've spent sitting around doing nothing, you haven't measured your penis. No. I don't believe that for a minute. No. No. All or right. Did you just think what difference does it make? The busiest men in the world have uh, measured their penis. Yeah, pe I mean, uh, you're talking about Bill Gates measures his penis. James the Brown Trump. has measured isn't, isn't his penis. Isn't that like the first thing you do when you when you get a hard on? Yeah, I mean, it's something you just do. It's what every guy does. You want to know where you stand in life. All right, Eric, I got to go interview John Stamos. All right. All right. Thank you for calling. I'll bye for now. All right. Bye bye. <laughs> bye for now. <laughs> I love him. Yeah, he's the best. Hey, Tabitha. Hi. Would you bang Eric the Midget? No, what? No, I don't even know who Eric the Midget is. This is Tabitha Stevens, right? Yes. Yes, Howard, it's me. You know Eric the Midget? You know Eric the I Midget? I do. The, the guy who calls in and talks like that? I know that. he is, but I don't know him. If I could get him in here, would you bang him? I don't know. I don't think he, he would do it because I'm not an, on American Idol. <laughs> hey, uh, Gary, quickly get Eric the Midget on. I think I got something lined up here that might be interesting. You guys are crazy. <laughs> no, you're crazy. Uh, yeah. But in a good way. I mean, we like it. Yeah. Did you hear what happened to me? No. Oh, the billing company took down my movie clips off my website. Why? They said it was too violent. And they made me take it down. I don't think that's why they made you take it down. The clip that says, I know something you don't no, know. No, shut up. It wasn't even that violent. <laughs> I'm I saw it. it. So just so you guys know, it's not coming out. I did something you can't do. Hello, this is Eric. Tabitha, spread your legs. I'm going to give you my midget cock. <laughs> 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 would, you, would you have sex with him theoretically? Um, I never did that before. I've never done it. She before, so. would. <laughs> oh, that'd Maybe. be wild. I think he would. He'd be done in a second. So what? Well, that's okay. I'm just letting you know. Cause I'll hurt you. Huh? Uh, what was that? Gary, any chance you can get that kid on the phone real quick? Call him now. All right. <laughs> this could be a Howard Stern yep. exclusive. I hope he's not busy. He's on line twenty, Howard. Thank you. Hold on, Tabitha. I'm gonna hook you kids okay. up. I'm in a love mode. <laughs> Eric. Eric, Hello. thank you. Hey, I got your dream come true, brother. Well, she's not an American Idol contestant. So what? Her body doesn't quit. <laughs> thank you. Eric, meet Tabitha Stevens. Hey, Good Eric, morning. how are you? Good morning. Good. How are you? Good. Good. Yeah? What's you... going on there? Eric, you want a piece of this? <laughs> I don't know. I don't exactly want this to want that kind of thing to be, you know, public. Dude, dude, beggars can't be choosers. Have you ever gotten laid in your life? No. All right. Have you ever gotten a hand job? No. Oh, that's so sad. Eric, what's your problem? What's his problem? Where do I begin? So keeping it out of the public is keeping you from having any kind of touching going on, Eric. You, you should be asking, Eric, what's not your problem? Eric, what's not your problem? <laughs> Eric, are you embarrassed? A little. <laughs> Why? Well, I just don't. And when it happens, I want it not to be in the spotlight. Oh, you want it to be more special and private, huh? Right. No, that's not what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, Eric, you come in here. I'll get Tabitha here. You guys meet in the studio. We send you off to a hotel. And then we at least have to hear it over the phone while you're banging her. Or getting a hand job or something. Can I make a suggestion to Eric? Eric, you told us, I think, the last time we spoke to you that you sort of outlived all your doctor's predictions, correct? Right. Right. So, I mean, it's not like this. You never know 
what's going to happen. I mean, you should take every day is borrowed time. Every day is borrowed time. So just, uh, I mean, don't wait for perfection. This is pretty perfect. You are playing with the house's money, Eric? No. We're all here for you, buddy. <laughs> what are you wearing right now, Tabitha? Tell them. Maybe get into a little phone sex. Well, it'd be hard to say I'm wearing when I'm not wearing anything. You're nude. Absolutely. Your body's so taut and hard, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. It's wet and ready to go. All right, tell her what you do to her. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to oh, do What am I going to do with you? I try and I try and I try. First, He's I'd no bore fun. you. He's no fun. First, I'd bore you to death. <laughs> then I'd make you scream out of dullness. <laughs> Then I'd talk about the Oakdenese relief pitching. <laughs> <laughs> then I'd talk about American Idol series one through eight. Then I'd finish off on your face while I pretended you were Carrie Underwood. <laughs> then I'd give you my Taylor Hicks soliloquy. <laughs> Dude, I got a girl here who'd be who's friggin' hot. Who you definitely give me a hand job, right? Absolutely. Without a doubt. <laughs> we should do it in the studio. I could do that. And mm. nobody will see. We'll put a blanket over it. Nice. You want a hand job, dude? You know how good that hand's going to feel on that pecker? I'm sure it probably would, but I'm And not. she's a pro. Mm -hmm. She knows how to tweak that thing and take 30 seconds. It's the best you could get. Thank you, Robin. <laughs> You're damn right. She knows what she's doing. Uh-huh. It's her business to know what's going on. Yep. Tell him what you do with your hand to him. I think I'd have to show him, but there's a lot of twisting wrist action involved in it with a lot of saliva. There must be saliva in my hand in order to do it. So you would, lick, you, you would lick his eyes to think what it is. You'd uh -huh. lick your hand first. Oh, absolutely. Actually, if he wants to spit in it, he can spit in it. And then you play with it. Absolutely, yes. Balls and all, too. You can't. Play with the balls? Forget about the balls. Oh, all of it. It's a package, Howard. Well, that's nice. You can't forget about the balls, Howard. No, you can't. <laughs> mm hmm Eric, what do you think? I think Eric's in shock. He's unconscious. <laughs> he fell oh. his chair. He never got this close. <laughs> I don't like the spotlight. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, not like the spotlight. Your only chance is if someone starts a game show called Sex with Freaks. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, I'm trying my best here, but you got to play a little bit. I'm just not... I just do not want it to happen that way. Mm -hmm. Well, how... I mean, it's... Are, are you at all close to it ever happening? I don't know. Ugh. I think he's embarrassed for for, for, for him for, for, to show himself to Tabitha Newt. Do you think that's what it is? Oh, that's no. like, come on. You don't ever feel like that. Because Jeff the Drunk said that he gave me the button again. And that thing didn't, it was big for a second, but then it wasn't. You anything. didn't lube up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this bitch didn't lube the fuck up. Oh, no, no, he's going to be calling. Eric, I, I'll offer it one last time because I am running out of time. Would you Would you enjoy a liaison with Tabitha Stevens or not? I mean, I'm not going to waste my time if you want to just pass. I've passed on all the other porn star opportunities you have presented me with, and I'm passing on this one. Wow. Then, 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 then well, it's so, okay. I understand. Wow. My feelings aren't hurt. Oh. It's okay. Hey, I am absolutely, I'm absolutely shocked. He's not ready, Howard. He's not ready? He's How much time you got left? Frosty, you're on. Yeah, Howard, fuck this ungrateful midget. If he doesn't do it, I'd love to fuck Tabitha. Exactly. All right, Eric, I tried. I thought I had a home run here for you. I'm sorry. I don't know. We might have to send in reinforcements, Howard. Well, go watch one of her movies and see what you're missing out on. Mm -hmm. All right, Eric. All right, I'll leave you alone. High pitch. <laughs> Back to beating off. Oh, okay. All right, sorry. <laughs> Bye for now. Bye for now. Yeah, Shock. Bye for now. Absolutely shocked. That's his new sign. It's Star Trek sound. Thank Lauren. you. Oh, that goes. Thank you, Tabitha. Thank you very much, Howard. Right. Hey, we tried. <laughs> yeah, we sure did, and, and and thank you for being so generous with your time and, and your affection. Thank you.
Well, thank you. Okay. <laughs> All right, Tabitha Stevens, nude and ready to go. Ready to use a hand on him or bang him, whatever he wants. Mm -hmm. I know he's in a wheelchair and I know he's handicapped, but I told him I would push down with my foot on his ass and help him get rocking on her. I know, and that's comforting. Or he could lay on his back and let her get on top. Whatever you want. Hey, you know... You probably have to do everything with him, right? Around the world, yes. I mean, he's not going to be able to do anything. I don't know. I don't know what his deal... I don't, I don't really know what his deal is. I make the bitches do the work. <laughs> Quickly, Eric, go ahead. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, I just started right away. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> Why is it about me? <laughs> so hard to get. By the way, let me say something. Um, as predicted... I'll, I'll do this for Eric's benefit because he loves to talk American Idol. As yes. predicted, uh, Elliot Yamin is out of the picture. It is now between the two of them. The heavy favorite on the gambling sites is this guy Taylor Hicks with yes. the gray hair. He will not win. You um, think that, uh, what's her name, Catherine McPhee will pull ahead? The thinking is that Taylor will get all of Elliot Yamin's votes. Ah. Uh, but uh, I still feel she'll pull it out. I do believe that there's no way that guy could be an American Idol. I hate, if he says Soul Patrol one more time. Soul Patrol! And it's not even Soul Patrol, it's like, Soul Patrol! Woo! Woo! He is so uncool. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just beyond horrible. Which is pretty funny. Mm-hmm. Has that summed up for you, Eric? Yeah. Thank you. You're a Catherine McPhee guy, I think, Eric. What? Yeah, I'm a fan of her. <laughs> yes, I want to fuck. <laughs> Dude, everyone wrote in. They can't believe you turned down Tabitha Stevens. I know. I've gotten the same thing on MySpace. Yeah. It, I mean, I gave this guy a slam dunk. The chick's got a rockin' body. She would, she'd give him a hand job, whatever he wanted. Has he changed his mind? No. <laughs> and the, the only reason I'm doing it is because of the situation I'm in right now. What does my that mean? My parents are paying for this apartment, so I can't do anything that they might see as not something they approve of. Oh, come on. How old are you? I'm 31, but they're Dude, paying for the... Dude, you're afflicted. You've got, you've got a medical condition. You don't think your old man wants you to get laid before you check off the planet? You're, 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 why don't you go talk to a man to man and say, I have an opportunity <laughs> to get laid. What does he think? They're going to stop paying for the apartment and let him hit the street? And, 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 and tell him that I'll help you. I'll do the assist. I'll put my foot on your ass and push in. <laughs> but really, would they leave you homeless? Do it a hand job. Your no, they, your they, what's your dad, a pussy? No. Why don't you say to him, you've had pussy, why can't I? They wouldn't leave me homeless. they just leave, bring me back up to the lake house. <laughs> well, it'd be worth it. What's wrong with the lake house? You could sit there, close your eyes, and remember your hand job. Yeah. They're not bringing you back to the lake house. Don't you realize they don't want you around? They're glad you're gone. They like visiting you. They like giving you your independence. Dude, you're, you're, you're imagining all this. You you're, like you're, a, your dad's a man. Sounds like a great life. you got a lake house. They would begrudge you a little pleasure. Anyway, what can I do for you, Eric? Because i got to get to Elliot, and i got a lot to get to. Hey, hey, by the way, here's this just if you had gotten Tabitha... This is like the guys dreamt up a scenario, like what it would have sounded like, okay? Okay. Hold on. <laughs> I need to start my power chair. That's you in your chair bursting through the door. You're so horny. Oh, hi, Eric. Hello. Tabitha. Well, enough of this small talk, Eric. Let's fuck. Hey, 
Watch your mouth. I want this to be special. <laughs> no foul language. This is our little secret. Now hop on my power chair, whore. Oh, let me unzip your Oshkosh bagage. They're man pants. I had them shortened. <laughs> oh, your little midget penis is hard. Of course. I should have been dead ten years ago and I've never been laid. Can I suck your midget penis? No. First, I want you to piss on me. Oh, Eric, you're so kinky. In my face, with my mouth open. There I go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no, you stupid bitch! You got it on my power chair! You're shorting out my power! on my power chair! Oh no! That was gonna explode! Get out of here, Tabitha. Wow. Well, that wouldn't be good. What do you think of that, Eric? That, that, <clears throat> that would not even be the way it would go because I would not want the peeing thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair enough. Good critique. Eric, do you ever laugh? <laughs> no. <Yeah. laughs> He laughed so, at once. You're saying it wasn't realistic. Plus, plus, I could tell it was Richard playing her. Right. We should have gotten the real girl. That's true. Yeah, good critique. Oh. Hi, Eric. What, what can I do for you today? And then I'll move on because I do have a few things to get to. And I got D. Snyder and I got uh, voicemail. Well, I e email Will with a message. It's more for your listeners than it is. For you, it's a, a email I, or a website I found that. I like listening to Robin laugh I at know, you. I'm in laughing the, in the background. On the delay, that's good. <laughs> gives a profile of each of the Whack Pack members, and I put a star by the names of each person as to are there are the reasons why. I don't want to be associated with the Whack Pack. Holy Christ. What is this, Gary? I, I don't know what he's ever talking about. Eric sent us an email. You ready? Oh, my God. It's 30 pages. It's a book. <laughs> it's a book. Dude, you really have we, we, to get laid. We, we bailed on it half page in. What is, what is, what is it about? It's just, oh, it says, hey, Will, if anyone still wonders why I don't want anything to do with the Whack Pack, the names I mark with a star are why. I don't want anyone out there to think that I'm anything like them. So let's see. Um, he doesn't want to be associated with Beetlejuice. Why? Blue Iris. Why? Um, let's see. Eric, you got a funny voice. You have no sense of humor. Although he doesn't mind being associated with Crackhead Bob and Crazy Alice. All right, so there you go. Daniel Carver's out. Um, and it, uh, and it, uh, Double A. He doesn't want to be associated with Double A. Well, I'm sorry. You're in the wag pack. Elliot Offen. You don't want to be associated with Elliot Offen. No. <laughs> no. No. Uh -huh. Well, Eric, you're in oh, the black pack. Hold on, he doesn't want to. Uh, he doesn't want to be associated with Gay Ramon. Now, what did Gay Ramon ever do besides be gay? Oh, I don't uh, know, really. Get born. You don't know, but you put a star next to his name. I pitch Eric's out. I don't like him. Jeff the drunk, Jeff the vomit guy, Joey Boots are all people. <laughs> but Joe, John the stutterer, he doesn't mind. Kenneth Keith, he doesn't mind. All right, look, I got to move along. Eric, you're in the whack pack. Just accept it. All right. No. All right. He won't accept it. No. <laughs> no way. No. It makes you feel any better. I do your voice all day and night. I, 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 I call Ralph and I go. <laughs> and, he, and he calls me and goes. <laughs> what did he, he laughed at one thing once, Eric, a sports joke or something. Yeah. That was it. One time he, he laughed. <laughs> Eric never laughed. You're so serious. That's I really good. do wish you would have uh, had sex with... Uh... Might have losing job. Yeah, I really do. I I'm sorry you didn't take advantage of that. But I understand your concern about your parents. But I even think your dad would understand. But that's just me. They're treating you like a baby. You're not. You're a man. It's my opinion. Oh, okay. So, Artie, did you get hit by another baseball or softball? 
<laughs> no, I didn't play. Did you show your dad a photo of Tabitha Stevens? No. Do you want me to send you some pictures you can show your dad? Yeah, I guess so. All he'll, right. he'll agree to it, believe All me. Right. I'll do that for you. Once he checks out this piece of ass. And show him to your dad. Don't just use him to beat off with. Right. All right. All right, Eric. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Um, bye for now. Bye for now. Bye for now is his new sign off. I know. Yeah. Bye, bye for it. now. Bye for now. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Eric the Midget's on the phone, Gary. we got to uh, do this. What's going on? Hey, Eric. Good he, morning. He wants Catherine McPhee's phone number because we've got it. Mm. And Gary even called her. And uh, the chick from American Idol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't realize I just said that. What? You Why didn't did I ever it. ask for that? We told you we could get it for you. Oh. Did we, do you have that little that. tape? Our preview page, too. Are you ready to come in your pants, Eric? Get ready. Here you go. Wait. Give me one second. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you something here for you to beat off to. With your uh, midget penis. <laughs> Hold on a second. Where is that? Where is that, Gary? Oh, here we go. Ready? Here we go. Hi, Gary. It's Catherine McPhee. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Gary. It's Catherine McPhee. Ow. Ow. Are you excited, Eric? Yeah, it's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit. We decided we're not giving. Hey, do you think you can give out her number to him? Why not? I, yeah, I, I, I could, I could give it to him. He's got, but he's got to do something for it. Yeah. You got to slap your midget penis against the phone. Oh. Uh... All right, I tell you what, I'll make it easy for you. You got to measure your penis. You got to measure it. <laughs> I turned off all the lights and everything. I don't have any. Way to you go. turned off all your lights to talk to Howard? <laughs> oh, it's three, almost four in the morning here. After I got off the phone, I was going to go to sleep. We got to have something in return for giving you the number. We can't just give it out. And don't, by the way, when we, if you do get her number, don't like call her every three seconds. And don't tell her we gave it to you. Right. Yeah, that's the rules. I know. I won't do that. All right. I call her and maybe leave a message. What are you going to say to Catherine McPhee? <laughs> yeah, what are you going to say? Just let's go over this so I don't get in trouble. Hi, Catherine. This is Eric. I'm a big fan of... Click! You better say Eric. Well, let him go. All right, so far i got no problem with this. Go ahead. I'm a big fan of yours. I hope you win American Idol on or this week. Good luck. you got to tell her you'll be voting for her. Wait, don't you have to explain to her who you are and, you know, what the show means yeah, to you? Yeah, no, 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 no. But don't say anything about that you're a friend of Howard Stern or anything. Okay, but how would I explain who I was without mentioning Because then she's going to know I gave you the phone number. I know, but without mentioning the show. Well, right? just say I'm, uh, my name is... Uh, yeah, th forget the show. Say Jay Leno gave it to you. You're a regular on Jay Leno. All right, throw <laughs> Jay Leno under the bus, okay? Yeah. Why not? Why not? Who cares? It throws everybody else under the bus. Don't look at it that way, Eric. Yeah. I, just don't bring up my name, you know, because then I look like an ass. All right. Yeah, when the police come, don't say we give you the number. You want it, You know what you ought to tell her? Tell her you can deliver Cali California with the vote. You know what I mean? <laughs> Hello. Well, you're on some, you're like on MySpace, right? And you could get everybody to vote for yeah. her, your fan base. No, no, he's got to go like this. Hello, Hello, Catherine. Oh, my friend. My name is Eric. I'm calling you because I control, I'm one of the guys in control of the California vote for American Idol. I just want you to know. I hold a block of voters. I hold a block of voters of over, of over four million people. That's how you bring in our show. So is Eric, Eric, are you going for Catherine or Travis? Who's your pick? Uh, well, Taylor. Travis, there's no one named Travis. Taylor, Taylor. Taylor. Yeah, who's Travis? I don't know. They're all the same. Taylor. Taylor. No, I'm going for Catherine. You haven't even seen the performances yet. Well, I want one reason I want Catherine is because I think Taylor's whole soul pitch whole thing would get annoying after a while. It is annoying. <laughs> you got a ruler there? You got a ruler in your apartment. You got some measuring device. And you got a light. Yeah. You can't use the excuse the lights are out. I can't measure my penis. <laughs> what was there, an earthquake? Let's just go over this again. You're going to say, look, you control a block of 4 million voters. 
through connections in the media. Okay. You don't even have to. You don't even have to mention Leno. And you can deliver them to her. What are you going to ask for her? And just say, you know, I'm letting you know that I'm going to do this for you. But remember the name Eric. Oh, you, you got to have something like I want a personal. Uh, no. uh, I want a meeting or. I want to take a meeting with you. Yeah, did, you could tell that you took you took a meeting with Carrie Underwood, right, backstage at that concert that time. Right. Tell her you're just looking for a meeting. Yeah, I could I see that. You know, I got the chance to meet Carrie Underwood last year on the American Idol tour. I was hoping to be able to get to meet her on this. Tour. Yeah, but you gave Carrie uh, Underwood your block of votes, and look what happened to her. Yeah. So you backed her, and look what happened. But right. don't bring up my name that I gave you the phone number. Oh, no, no, no. All right. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Thank See you. how nice he got? He's all nice now. Oh, he's a well, sweetheart. The only thing, uh, here, wait, let me give him another shot of this. Hi, Gary. It's Catherine McPhee. Mm. <laughs> well, that sounds high. Hi, Gary. It's Catherine McPhee. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> is there more to that message? Yes, yeah. there is. <laughs> Very much more. Well, she, she just called up and said her name, Eric. But I'm just giving you the... The tea. No. Let me see here. What are you doing? He's getting his ruler out. I'm getting out my co-tractor. <laughs> Taking out my cock. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see here. Co-tangent, co-sign. <laughs> you, got a, you got a ruler there? Hang on. All right. I'll give you this one more time in case you mm -hmm. get nervous. I don't have a ruler, but would a straw work? A straw. I don't know. A straw. <laughs> how, how many? <laughs> Pretty long. Yeah, but 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 how many inches is a straw? You know what I mean? I want to know inches. Say about a foot. Oh, get out of here! The, the straw's straw a foot. Is a foot? That's a long straw. I thought he was saying his penis was a foot. <laughs> no. Yeah, oh Christ. Well, I tell you what, you get a hold of a ruler and call me back. No, I, this straw's about eight or nine inches. Yeah, but I need an exact measurement. And not from your balls. From your shaft. Okay. I'll try to find something, I'll call you back. All right. What is it, Gary? This is bullshit. You should have to, listen... He's got all the digital cameras and computers and everything. Just take a picture of it and oh, email it to us. I don't want a picture of it. No, no, we won't, we won't post it. That's gay. It. But I'm not doing that. There's no way you're eight inches. Give me a break. He didn't say he was oh, eight inches. I think one of the guys said he said he was eight inches. He's going to measure it. He's going to go get a ruler, and then he's going to call us back. You know? Right. I mean, that's the only way you're going to know. Get a tape measure, too. Don't we want to know girth? <laughs> do you have a friend with an eight-inch cock? You could, you know, do a stunt thing with us? I'm not doing that. <clears throat> All right, just go get a go get a ruler. That's not a hard task, and we're going to do a measurement here. And then call me back as soon as you have the ruler. Okay. All right, thank you. All right, Eric the Midget going to measure his penis. For Catherine McPhee's phone number. Hi, Gary. It's Catherine McPhee. <laughs> but Pharrell and um, Shuli were busting Eric the Midget's balls the other night on the air. Did you Did hear that? Did they have him on? Uh, no, what they did was, uh, yeah, well, Pharrell had him on the phone, and then, um, Shuley does this voice, Derek the Midget. Oh. And he was trying to engage Eric the Midget in, in that. conversation. Yeah, but it's impossible. I'll, I'll play a clip from there. I want to bring in, uh, Derek the Midget. Go ahead, Derek. Hello, Pharrell. Oh, hey, what's up, Derek the Midget? <laughs> Hello, Eric. Oh, I've been meaning to speak to you for quite some time now. Okay. Turns out you stole my spot on the Howard Stern Show. What do you think of that, Eric? I got some guy, Derek the Midget, saying that Eric the Midget stole his gig. I was supposed to be the only midget on the show. Well, then you'd have to take that up with Beetlejuice as well. He's a little person. Let me tell you something, pal. I have more talent in my wheelchair joystick than you have in your midget body. What do you think of that? <laughs> Don't do. I, I, I got a proposition. Me and you in a battle box fight in an octagon. <laughs> so, come on, sizzle neck. <laughs> 
What did he call him? Sizzle neck? What's up with that? I mean, Derek, I mean, he just insulted him. Eric, you don't need this either, do you? No. I mean, if I see you, I'll roll over you like a speed bump. <laughs> hey, Derek, it sounds like you get a lot of pussy. I got it falling out of my chair. I got so much pussy. Eric, come on, man. Defend yourself. He has nothing to say. I don't really know what to say in response to this guy. That's because I own you. You are my midget bitch. <laughs> Except if he wants my spot in the whack pack, he could take it because I never uh, wanted to be in there in the first place. Yeah, you never wanted to be in there in the first place. You didn't need any of these shenanigans. It's all a bunch of bullshit to you, Eric. <laughs> I guess I could stick my finger farther up my ass than you can yours. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm not someone that would try that, so... Would you try a Coke bottle? Nope. Ah, uh, damn. Blunts, what about you? Would you Would you try... Oh, I just lost Derek the midget. Do you think he'll call back? Hold on, hey. Uh, Blunts, would you stick a Coke bottle up your ass? <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> Everyone... But uh, Derek the midget was fighting with Eric the midget. Yeah. Everyone's shoving something up their ass. Yeah, there was a lot of gay s discussion down there. Oh, man. So is Shuli like a regular on Pharrell's show now? And he's on a lot. I don't know if he's a regular. That's a Pharrell's good... vibing with Shuli. I think there's something going on there. It's a good gig. Yeah. I think there's some sort of chemistry thing going on. Shuli with Derek the Midget, his new character. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, it was good. Hello, Eric. Good morning. Eric, uh, last time you said, when we asked the measurement, you said eight inches. We want to make it clear, don't measure you. We want your dick measured. Yeah. You measure your waist, it will be a hundred inches. No, <laughs> he's giving me fat jokes back. Uh, let's uh, see. I'll accept that. I was looking for my... Hi, Gary, where is my Catherine McPhee message? Ugh, I can't find a damn thing. Gary? Yeah. I need a co-pilot sitting next to me. It's he can't even find it. No, you need four guys. It's preview page two. Preview page two. Thank you. Hi, Gary. It's Catherine McPhee. Eric wants Catherine McPhee's phone number real bad. All he's got to do is measure his midget penis for me, and then it says, "What'd you do? You went out and got a ruler?" Yeah. Where'd you get a ruler that, at that time of night in California? There actually was one in an art drawer that I have. You're an artist? Yeah, I, I do drawings. <laughs> now, are you sitting there with your pants off? Yeah. For real? Yeah. Really. Well, I'm trusting you to be honest. Yeah. You're a painter, huh, Eric? No, I just draw. Mm. All right. Your new name could have been Tiny Curtis. Are right, you ready? Yes. Turn off your radio. It's it's off. No, it's not. What is that? Yeah. Yeah. What is that? Oh, hang on. I gotta go. Oh, mine doesn't come with a remote. <laughs> he needs the remote more than anybody. Jesus, that's almost cruel not giving him a remote. Now describe what's going on there. You're in a you're in your wheelchair, right? Yeah. And you're nude. <clears throat> yeah. Oh. <laughs> God, it's crazy. Ugh. No underpants, nothing. Well, shirts on. That's it. All right. And where do you, He's sitting there in a shirt with no bottoms. Right. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and what about your ruler? Where is that? I got it. All right. Is it a 12-inch ruler? <laughs> Actually, the ruler is 14. It's up my ass. <laughs> you got a ruler that's 14 inches long? Yeah. All right. Where did you find that? <laughs> Won't your chair get stinky if you're naked? No, I got out of the chair. <laughs> Where are you? On the bed. My ass is in the air. <laughs> so, you're, so you're laying on the bed nude on your back? Yeah. All right. I just want to picture this. And you're fully aroused? Yes. 
Really? Yeah. You and did that for the measuring? How'd that happen? I just thought of some things. What'd you think about? Just various different women. Who's in the catalog? And who do you? Who's your number one go-to thinking about a girl if you're gonna jack it off? Um, this one female on the internet. <laughs> Cindy Margulis. No. She's lame. <laughs> Most downloaded my ass. <laughs> you're Not naked. By me. You're naked. You got a ruler out, and you're thinking about a girl on the internet. Yeah. Okay. Hold it, Derek. The midget's on the phone. He wants to yell at you. Yes, Derek. Why don't you think of Ryan Seacrest, you faggot? <laughs> <laughs> What's longer, the joystick on your chair or your penis? Why don't you get a life and get off the phone? By the way, for those of you who don't know, this is Derek the Midget, who claims that he was the original Midget on the show and feels Eric has stolen his thunder. That's right. I had a shirt that said Derek the Astronaut long before Eric showed up. <laughs> he screwed me, and I will find my revenge. Well, here. Derek, we're going to measure Eric's penis right now, and you're kind of doing a buzzkill thing. All right. Sorry. All right. Now, Eric? Yes. Are you ready to measure? Yeah. All right, go ahead. It's, uh... Be honest. From your shaft, not from your balls. I know. All right. I remember what you told me. All right. Five inches. You're five inches. Yeah. Fully aroused. Yeah. Wow. Please. Somewhere a little over. Dude. He's swearing your mother's life, you're really measuring. Yeah. Say it. I swear on my mother's life, I really measured. Wow. And you're somewhat of a celebrity. You could be getting like Billy Barty type pussy, man. <laughs> I'm the Tommy Lee. <laughs> yeah, I made it. Go on, get laid. <laughs> you're a Tommy Wee. <laughs> I got to tell you, Eric, proportionally, that's not too bad. Five inches. That's about a third of his height, isn't it? Yeah, it's a third of your body weight. <laughs> I think I'm five inches. Yeah, I ain't much more than that. <laughs> if I'm you six... never want to get a woman off, that's a great size to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Derek the Midget, what are you? What size are you? I'm uh, seven and a half. Seven and a half inches? Oh, that hurts. Total height, not my penis. Oh. Wow, five inches, Eric the Midget. I'm shocked, Eric. Well, going by the theory that every guy doubles it, it's two and a half. Are you pushing down on the ruler? Like, are you, like, trying to make that base bigger? No. All right. Is the ruler in your ass? <laughs> <laughs> is it at the taint or is it the ball? Mm -hmm. I was born without a taint. <laughs> it's a rare condition. <laughs> Wow. All right. Well, thank you, Derek. Eric, hold the line for a second. Eric gets the number, huh? Derek, thank you. Thank you. Eric, I'm going to give you her number. Okay. Thank you. Here's if Eric the Midget was banging Tabitha Stevens. Not that quick again. Hold on. I need to start my power chair. Oh, hi, Eric. Hello, Tabitha. Well, enough of the small talk, Eric. Let's fuck. Hey, watch your mouth. I want this to be special. No foul language. This is our little secret. Now hop on my power chair, whore. Oh, let me unzip your Oshkosh Bagar. They're man pants. I had them shortened. <laughs> oh, your little midget penis is hard. Of course. I should have been dead ten years ago, and I've never been laid. Can I suck your midget penis? No. First, I want you to piss on me. Oh, Eric, you're so kinky. In my face, with my mouth open. Here I go. Oh, oh no, you stupid bitch. You got it on my power chair. You're shorting out my power. Stop peeing. Stop peeing on my power chair. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's going to explode. Wow. Get the hell out of here with that one. 
get out of here, Tabitha. What do you think of that, Art? Wow. Can't stand that. You hate that. That's a great impression, you have to admit, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to admit anything. Hi, Gary. It's Catherine McPhee. Well, you're going to get uh, Catherine McPhee's phone number, but just do me a favor. Don't tell her it came from me, okay? I know. I won't do that. All right. Congratulations on your five inches. Uh, are you going to play the rest of the message? No, 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 no. That's private. You go, you go do your own thing. I'm going to give you the number. Okay. Report back to us, okay? Mm -hmm. Hold on. You know he wanted Catherine McPhee's phone number real bad if he was willing to measure his penis. Yeah, he usually doesn't participate in any of this. Mm -hmm. Do you believe he was uh, accurate uh, and honest with mm -hmm. the five inches? He did swear. Uh, I guess. He said it was a fraction larger than that. Or longer than that. Mm. Everybody exaggerates. but <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking about American Idol. Do we, where is... Um, uh, Catherine McPhee, a Blue Iris calling Eric the Midget. That's what I was going to tell you. It's on the Gary preview. Okay, okay. i got to start with that, and then I'll work my way through And then it's this. followed by an angry uh, voicemail from Eric uh, the Midget. You guys will, I haven't even heard this, but the premise is funny. You know what? Well. I, I didn't... It, you'll, you'll enjoy it a lot. All right. Where, what, where is it? On the Gary preview page. Gary preview page. Bear with me while I scroll through 50,000 pages. Okay, here we go. So the idea was, Eric... Got a call from Catherine McPhee. Mm -hmm. All right. Hello. Hi, Eric. This is Catherine McPhee. <laughs> no, it's not. Come on. <laughs> Hello. Hello. This is Blue, Catherine. Blue Iris. Knock it off. Look my pussy like it's a piece of taffy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Who's Blue Iris? This is Catherine McPhee. Tell Stern that this is not funny. Oh, my God. <laughs> Catherine McPhee loves to have her pussy lift. Knock it off. I want to suck your cock. <laughs> Who is it? It's Catherine McPhee. Stick your midget tongue in my shit pipe. Oh. <laughs> Knock it off. I know who this is. It's not funny anymore. I want you it to put funny when it began. I want you to put your head inside my <laughs> pussy. <laughs> you don't want to put my hand like this outside your face. Stop calling. Fuck that midget. I'll just suck on Taylor Hicks. Jesus, what a grumpy munchkin little piece of shit. <laughs> of course, Eric had to call us and complain. Hello, it's me, Eric. I was calling because of the fact that so someone keeps prank calling me from the offices with Blue Iris, <laughs> trying to pass herself off as uh, Catherine McPhee. I'm like, come on. I can tell the difference between the voices. I'm not like Gary the Retard or Wendy. <laughs> I have the ability to... Wasn't there one where Eric fell for it, though? There was. I remember some crank call that Eric fell for. Oh, yeah. We had somebody call him as, like, Carrie Underwood, didn't we? Right. He fell for And it. he fell for that one. He fell tell for... people's voices apart. So tell them, whoever it is, to knock it off. It's not funny. It wasn't funny when the first call came in. It's not funny when the fifth or sixth one came in. It's ridiculous. And Stern's going to hear about it tomorrow. <laughs> Bye from now. Hmm. Hold it. There's a very upset Eric the actor on the phone. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Eric. Good morning. <laughs> Tough morning for you? Yeah. <sighs> Did you get any sleep last night? I voted it 4,000 times. <laughs> Not that many. How many times did you vote for Catherine McPhee? 330. <laughs> you know, if you had done 70 more, she <laughs> might be the show? winner today. Notice they didn't give the percentages. I think that kid Taylor Hicks won in a landslide. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Do um, they? Do, I thought they never did. Wasn't even close. No, they do if it's close. Yeah. They, they crow about that. Eric, your your uh, endorsement is, means shit. McPhee... I think you worked against her, actually. Yeah, yeah. I have a bet, Eric. And tell me the truth. I say you called McPhee. After she lost? Nope. You've only called once? Only the w one other time that you said I should call. Oh, you called oh, back. Oh, you did. All right. <laughs> I feel vindicated. <laughs> What'd you say when you called back? 
just, you know, I went into a little more detail about myself like you said I should. What was the detail? I was, so, you know, just gave details like Howard and Ralph said I should. What did you say, if you can recall? Not really, because... You, you know, know what you said. That was Tuesday afternoon I did that. I can't... And what's happened to you since then? So exciting. Yeah, he well, can't. Not much, so much has happened that he can't remember what he said. <laughs> What'd you say to her? You know, I just told her a little bit about myself and that. What'd you say? You know that you know I'm a little person in a wheelchair and that um, if she wanted to know anything else about me, she could. Look on MySpace. Boy, did you oh, blow it. Man, we oh. told you not to mention MySpace. That was everything I told you not to say. I told you to tell her that you represent a lot of voters, and you represent the midget vote, and that you've got over 4,000 people who are all going to be voting for her. And Ralph said, don't mention mm. the chair. Just say, oops, I dropped something. Let me roll over to it. Right. You dumb little fruit. <laughs> <laughs> I was not going to say any. Thing about I represent the midget vote because I don't and I don't like. Yeah, but I wanted you to lie. I'm trying to get you <laughs> to get to get laid. I'm not. I'm also not gonna. Well, even though I uttered the word twice, now I'm not gonna say a word that I don't like. Which is? Well, gee, you're gonna goat me into saying it again. Thanks, Robin. <laughs> goad. You're gonna goat me. I am. I'm goading you. The M word. <laughs> The word midget. Oh. Hey, Eric. Was what? It, what did you think was the worst moment? Was it Clay Aiken coming out with that, that nerdy dude? That, I thought that was bad, but I also at the same time kind of cracked up at that whole thing. I thought it was pretty funny. Did you like, did you like Clay Aiken's new hairstyle? I thought it looked ridiculous. Uh, Beth said to me he's covering his ears. Yes, hair. yes. I mean, he never yeah. grew that hair out before, and he did look completely different. I said, yeah. look what they can do in Hollywood. Yeah. They can make this nerd look like he's a sex of <laughs> Yeah. Now, did you guys notice something? I know you guys put your attention on Hasselhoff crying, but did you also notice after the um, winner was announced, they panned into the crowd, and Carrie Underwood had a look on her face like, oh, man, the wrong person won. Is that what that look meant? Eric knows, Robin. Don't don't be a big wise ass. Eric's an expert on this show. Do you ever, hey, Eric? Do you ever like record the show and rewind it and watch it again? No, not really. I'm trying to download the all the episodes and you know, watch them so I could maybe go back over and take better notes and stuff like that. What are you gonna do with those notes? <laughs> Publish your book. What do you think? There's money in them there, Hills. Uh, what do you mean download? Are you going to download all the episodes and watch them like in one marathon session? I'll try. Yeah. Because when the people do Sounds the like a downloads, party. they cut the commercials. So it, it oh, I see. So you wouldn't have to have the commercials in there. <laughs> Save you some time. God. Jeez, that sounds crazy. What the, what notes are, are are you writing down? What do your notes say? Detailed notes. <laughs> well, what I was kind of hoping to do, if I get the chance, like last year, to meet the idols, uh, maybe go there with <laughs> the notes and you know show them you know how much big of a fan I am by giving them the notes. Oh, jeez. Number one, give notes to fans. Number two, send dead squirrel to Clay Aiken. <laughs> you mean, what you're, what you're implying is you want to meet the idols, take all of your notes, and hand it to the idols? Yeah. Copies of your notes. Right. You mean uh, their individual notes or notes on the whole show? Notes on the whole show. I see. You would just pi compile one set of notes. And what incredibly insane thought goes through your brain when you come up with that idea? I mean, do you think, wh what do you think would happen if you handed them your notes? That they would sit and read it? Do you think, it? like, Catherine McPhee's going to sit and read this? Well, you know, they got downtime when they're going from city to city. Yeah. And rather than the Da Vinci Code, let me grab Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you use your computer and build an invincible mini plane so you can fly around in it and and visit the idols? No. 
No. No. <laughs> There's no better way to, to kill a Saturday afternoon in Appleton, Wisconsin than reading one of your notes, Eric. <laughs> How long is each note on each person? Like, do you go pages? No, no. no. Was it like a paragraph? No, it was just about, you know, a line per person, per contestant. Yeah, like, give us a line. What would a line be? I... I don't know offhand. It's like, what would you write about Catherine McPhee? Like, last night, what did you write about Catherine? Actually, I didn't take any notes at all last night. Why? Who's was enjoying well, the show. Well, for one thing, I got got um, information ahead of time of who won. <laughs> How did you do that? Well, because... Oh, you're on the West Coast. Well, no. What happened was I went and looked at my mail on MySpace, and everybody from the East Coast emailed me telling me who won. Right, that's what I was saying. You're from the West Coast. Yeah. If I was you, every week I would take notes, and then I wouldn't have to go back and watch the whole thing and take notes. <laughs> I'd get it over with. Yeah. Well, he has, only he wants more detailed notes. <laughs> Is it hard taking notes while you're sucking cock? <laughs> 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 well, Eric, I know last night was a big uh, trauma to you. I know you voted for McPhee over 360 times, you said? 30. 330 <laughs> times. Let me ask you something, Eric. When will you make the call to uh, tell her how sorry you are? Well, I'll go with what Gary said, and I'll wait till next week. Uh -huh. Good. All right, smart man. FBI time to track you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big knock on the door. <laughs> Okay. Well, what happens for the next six months? Do you go into a deep freeze? No. What will you, what will you do with yourself? What do you turn your attentions to now? <laughs> the Oakland A's. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I'll watch <laughs> A's and Giants games put <laughs> next week. Last week, Spanning starts. <laughs> oh, <laughs> last comic standing. You're into that. <laughs> I'll also be watching. Game bars are fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Eric, it's a big upset for you. I know you were pulling for Catherine McPhee. Uh, let's hope that. Um... You still got the McFever? Yeah. <laughs> I bet Me you too. Do. Wouldn't you like to bury your midget head between those big boobs? Oh. Those boobs did look good last night. They sure did, pal. Now um, you're talking like a man. Now, now we're talking. <laughs> Finally. Boy, that young stuff, man. Let yeah. me tell you, Eric, when you when you go in on a, a young girl like that, it's very tight. No, very I, tight. I, I Even for Eric? You know what I mean, or you don't know what I mean? I disagree with you on two things, though. All right. One, <laughs> she, doesn't, she doesn't need to drop a single ounce, let alone a pound. Oh, bro, you, you, you're just she, way off on that. Neither does... Um, Taylor. No. Mandisa. <laughs> Mandisa was in stretch pants last Oh, my God. Who's dressing her? Carrie Underwood doesn't need to drop No, it. not at all. She not dropped anymore. It. She listened to me no, and dropped she, away. She never did to me. Oh, no. She had a big fat ass. She looks great now. No, she was sitting. How'd you like to nail that tail? I'd go out with either one of them. Mm. You could fall in love with one of those, huh? He already has. By the way, this summer, my family will take me to the house by the lake and glue me to the ceiling so I can be a human smoke detector. <laughs> <laughs> I like to ride on the fan on the top of the ceiling. What was uh, Catherine McPhee's biggest mistake, do you feel? Uh, I don't know, really. <laughs> Getting you to like her. Uh. Hey, I hope our last comic standing's good, because the Giants and A's both suck, dude. Uh. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what was McPhee's biggest mistake? I don't know, really. Mm -hmm. I liked her song actually better than Taylor's. Yeah, but wasn't it during the whole contest song selection? I would love if they made Eric a judge yeah. on American Idol. <laughs> I, would, I would watch... Five times in he a row. He should take Paula's spot. Oh yeah. Oh, he'd be. He'd be no, he should take Randy's spot. <laughs> Our judge, Eric, the midget. Oh no. <laughs> Eric the judge. <laughs> People say that Simon gives 
really uh, critical comments. I don't know, you might have run for the money if I was a judge on that, too. I've never heard you be critical. Oh, when when it, I'm watching the first couple of weeks when they're going through all the auditions and there's the really awful people, I'm always thinking of uh, what I would have said if I was at that judge table. You're kidding. I don't think anybody does that. Well, there you go. Give us an example of your most <laughs> scathing critique. By the way, Eric, uh, this is sad. Eric would have voted more, but his cell phone died. Oh, <laughs> oh is that, that true? Yeah, and and you have to charge your cell phone before American Idol. Isn't that a lesson you've learned? Well, it was almost fully charged by the time I started. Wow. Couldn't you just plug it in and keep going? I did, eventually. <laughs> but I lost valuable voting time. At least ten minutes. It could have cost McPhee the entire title. Now, are you guys still going to have her in? <laughs> you know how off you were, Eric. We just got the results. <laughs> Catherine McPhee had 332 votes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. Wow. Some guy called us and said your vote only counts once. Oh. Uh, they can trace it or something. Didn't your news department find that out wasn't true or find that wasn't true? Yeah, I don't think it is true. I think American Idol really gets off on how many votes they get, and they're happy with every vote. That's right. They don't care how many times you vote. I heard the news department called, your news department called Fox, and they said that, no, that guy wasn't right. All right. But yeah, just keep voting, Eric. Yeah. Just Whether keep, it counts or not. Yeah, just keep going. Give you something to do. <laughs> Are you guys going to have McPhee in next week? We're going to try. <laughs> Did you vote in the presidential election? Yeah. Uh, voted How many times? T, Robin. You could only do that once. Duh. Wow. <laughs> Who'd you vote for? Harry. I see. You got a pattern. Carrie Underwood? You're a mush. In the presidential election, you voted for Carrie Underwood? John <laughs> Carrie Underwood. Uh, <laughs> with Blake Aiken. I know, I know. John Kerry. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm we just know. We are John Kerry Underwood. Please, be, between Bush and... Arnold Schwarzenegger, there's no way I'm going back to being a Republican. Yeah. Ooh, who knew? Big uh, loss for the uh, grand old party. All right, Eric. Well, thank you, and I'm sorry about the McPhee upset last night. I knew we wanted to check in with you, and uh, certainly a lot of controversy there. Thank you. Say hi, say hi to the Dixie Chicks. I, the new song that they got out, I think, is pretty good. All right, thank you. Did you cry last night when McPhee lost? No. No. All right. No, Thank I you. Didn't, I didn't turn David Hasselhoff. What? Will you be going to the Idol um, concert? Yeah. <laughs> of course. Probably going to go over to the uh, Arco Arena box office in the next couple of days and get the tickets. That way you don't have to pay all those extra charges. I see. All right. Thanks. All right, Eric. Thank you. Uh, bye for now. Bye for now. Bye for now. New uh, catchphrase, Eric's. I stole that from Tigger <laughs> in the Winnie of the Pooh books. <laughs> Did you remember when he wasn't going to call in anymore? Now he's back. Yeah. Oh, yeah, calling every day. He was trying to play hardball with us where he would not call in unless we dropped making fun of him and making fun of his voice and stopped calling him Eric the Midget. Or call, making him a member of the WAG Pack. Right. He really doesn't like that. And it didn't work out for him. His negotiations fell apart. <laughs> he didn't get one demand in his back. <laughs> oh, i got to just talk to Eric the Midget real quick. So tell me what happened. Uh, yesterday you measured your penis for us on the air, and in an exchange for measuring your penis, I gave you Catherine McPhee's cell phone number. Right. And uh, did you end up using that number? Yes, I called one time, and I left a brief, nice message and did not mention you once. Tell me what the message was. I just said that, you know, that I'm a fan of the show and a fan of hers, and last year I got the chance to meet Carrie Underwood when the Idols went on tour, and I was mm. hoping this year when the Idols go on tour again to be able to meet her and the other Idols. Did you throw in the fact that you're handicapped and you're a midget and you're in a wheelchair? Actually, no, I did not. Yeah, well, that's what you should have done. Yeah, but I did give my phone number at the end of the message. Yeah. So he left a message. 
All right, so you're not going to stalk her with the number? No. All right, good. Was it worth measuring your penis for? Yeah. Yeah. You know, normally he wouldn't do something like that, but this was too good. He had to have that phone number. And he jumped, too. Yeah. I knew I had the right gift. Yeah. To get that penis measured. A lot of people didn't believe that Eric got five inches in his pants. They think he lied because they were like, well, how was he aroused? But what you do you were, mean, how is he aroused? Well, like he called us, like, is he really going to hold on to a boner and measure? I don't know, but I, I believe Eric. Eric, when you measured your boner, did you measure it first, like, without us on the phone so that you could get a good measurement? Exactly. Yeah, all right. That's what I, that's what I wanted to explain. <laughs> you hit the nail on the head. And uh, you you swear to God that you really are five inches. That was an accurate measurement. Yeah, I, what I do is I, you know, put it against myself and then put my thumb right where the tip, you know, was and then pulled the ruler away with my thumb in place and it was right near the five-inch mark. Right. Now, you didn't hurt yourself pressing the ruler down. <laughs> Did you? No. Okay. Did you measure with the ruler on top of your penis or underneath the penis? Underneath. Underneath. That's how I measure. That's how you have to measure. Every guy's going underneath. So you, and, you, and, and you did not measure from your balls. You measured from the beginning of the shaft, the base. Right. All right. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Five inches. Man. That's impressive. Read and said, weep. Uh, how tall are you? Uh? Three foot. Five. Yeah, he's three foot five. Wow. So, I mean, you know. Next time I get another idol's phone number, I'm going to have you measure circumference. <laughs> oh, great. Are you circumcised? Yeah. Hmm. Fascinating. <laughs> I mean, that's a big, uh, you know, sort of percentage of his total height, five inches. Hello, Miss this is Eric, your fan. I control a huge voting block of votes here in the California area. <laughs> and I and my legions could put you over the top. <laughs> <laughs> And over one million dollars. <laughs> I am in league with the Maloof brothers. I have their cell phone number. <laughs> I bet she changes her number now. <laughs> I also know Daphne Zanuga. Hey, Eric. You know, if you don't hear back from her by today, you're, if that, that little phone number is going to burn a hole in your little hand. You're going to have to call again. Yeah, I know you. You're going to end up calling again. The, the only thing, if, if and when she does win, I'll probably give her a congratulations call. It's probably about it. You think that's right? <laughs> if she loses, Eric, will you give her, like, sort of a sympathy call, though, too? I still love you. Eric, I'm going to ask you a favor. Could you, could you not call her till at least next week? Because I spoke to her, or we, we exchanged voicemails, and she doesn't think Fox would want her on you know, for the finale. But after, if she wins, she's going to come on the show, and I just don't want you screwing that up for us. So I'm going to call her the day after she wins, and you leave her alone. Okay, no problem. All right. Eric's a man of his word. Do we don't want you screwing that up for us. I'll do that, Gary, for one million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> what was actually the rest of the message? That, what? what? What was the rest of the message that you guys had? Hey, Gary, what was the rest of Catherine McPhee's message? Yeah, he wants to finish, finish Please whacking it. don't give it. my number to Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you do, don't give, my, don't give that phone number to Eric the Midget. <laughs> Yes, Ralph. <laughs> Eric, you blew it, man. Why didn't you uh, mention you vote like 8,000 times in one night? And I don't. I, the most I've voted is uh, 400. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
But you see the percentage last week. That could put it over the top, man. You got you got to you got to sell yourself a little bit. Eric, did you vote four hundred times? Um, season three. How many times did you vote last week, and who'd you vote for? I voted only for Catherine, and I really didn't keep track of how many times. But what do you do? You get the number and you just sit there and you hit redial over and over? Yeah. Sexy. <laughs> Dude, how many times did you vote, you think? Did you, like, just do that for two hours? <laughs> yeah, I voted for the full two hours. Of the... Wow. wow. Is that crazy? you got to mention that to her. Yeah, you should have. Maybe you need to call her. Call her back. <laughs> call her back. I forgot to mention <laughs> I am my own block of votes. I mean, she didn't even know that you voted for her over like 400 times. You know, I mean. So as soon as they say the voting is open, you've got the number dialed in, you start hitting. See, Eric, what I'm thinking is if you make that clear to her, she's going to be afraid not to call you back yeah. because she doesn't want to lose your vote. Yeah, before the the actual right. contest. Yeah, tell her she's got to call you back like tonight, you know. Or I won't vote for you. <laughs> I hold all the cards. You know, the one thing I was thinking is, hopefully for you, though, she doesn't have anyone that she knows that was instead of showing her to give me her number. Yeah, we're on satellite. Nobody knows what we're doing. Yeah. Hey, Eric, also, somehow you got to work in that you're, uh, uh, you're a midget and you're in a wheelchair, you know? Yeah, like... I told him that. Listen, if you want my vote, you must call. No. <laughs> Eric, don't say you're in a wheelchair. Just kind of like, you know, like say something like, oh, I dropped something. I have to wheel over and pick it up, you know? Mm -hmm. Be casual about it. You should tell her you're an idol maker or an idol breaker. <laughs> and depending on her actions. I'm a power broker. I, I meant to actually say in the message that, or give my... MySpace page address to her, but I forgotten after I hung up. Well, that'll turn her on. Because that MySpace page is pretty groovy. Yeah, there's so many great oh. guys on MySpace. Yeah, what, like, 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 what's what's your profile on there? The address to the profile. No, I mean, what's your like? What does it say? Don't you have to write something about yourself? Yeah. What's it say on there? It just um, you know talks about my. Disability and you know stuff like that, and that's fun. And also, you know the different <laughs> music that I listen to, and fascinating. But the reason why I wanted to give her the address to it was so she could look through the pictures and see the pictures of myself meeting Carrie, and also uh, the different cast members of American Dreams and stuff like. Dude, you're not going to get her with that. Yeah, She's going to think you're why? creepy. You got to, you got to tell her you're with the ETM agency. She doesn't know that stands for Eric the Midget. <laughs> <laughs> ETM Enterprises. ETM Enterprises. <laughs> <laughs> don't get on MySpace. You get to sound like a stalker. Right. You want to sound like a cool guy. Like cool guys don't have MySpace accounts. You know what I mean? Like you've got so much going on, you don't have time for a MySpace account. You know, Eric, you should have somebody call her back for you and say they're your your assistant. Nah, I think at this point he's got to just yeah. let the one message lie there, and otherwise it'll look creepy. Yeah. Yeah, but what do? You, but you know he's got to call back today because he can he can vote her in. I mean today he's got power. Tomorrow you know he's got nothing. You must have loved having her number though, right? Have you yeah. called it a bunch of times just to hear her answering message and listen to her voice? No, I just called it the one time. All right. All right. There it is, Eric the Midget. There's an update on. Uh, his phone number and his access to and Catherine McPhee. Will he be McPhee. calling back to, to plead his case again? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Since he got it wrong the first time? What do you mean, call the show back? Like, I just know this guy's going to start Jones, and if he doesn't hear from Catherine McPhee today, he's going to. I know he's going to make another call. Well, but Ralph makes a good case. He didn't present himself properly. He got. Did you get nervous? Yeah, a little. I shit the bed. <laughs> <laughs> One shot at greatness. Do you want me to give out your MySpace uh, address? Yeah, I guess you could do that. All right. MySpace.com backslash Eric the Actor Lynch. L-Y-N-C-H. 
How do you spell L Y N C H? Well, did you uh, already mail that letter to me? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh, You're writing to him? Yeah, I wrote him a fan letter. <laughs> <laughs> there were these American Idol things that that came in, and I sent them to him. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. Well. Good luck, Eric, and uh, keep us updated if you get a call back from Catherine McPhee. Don't wait, man. Call her back. Call her one more time. Wait a few hours and then call her. Good luck tonight. You want Ralph to tell you what you should say again, or you know what to do? I want how about you give me a little tip. All right. Yeah. Here's the pointers. You ready? Uh, your bullet points. Number one, you're, you, you didn't make it clear in your first message that you control a lot of the votes. I mean, you 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 voted over 400 times for Carrie Underwood, and you've been voting heavily for her all along. And, uh, you know, it would be nice to be recognized for all this hard work you're putting in. Oh, in fact, you could say something like, when the voting, when they say that the voting is open, do you want me to vote for Taylor or do you want me to vote for you? Yeah. Give me a call. Say, you know, if you call me, <laughs> you can be assured I'll be voting my little hands off. Do, do, do you think he should say something like he knows he also has a network of a bunch of other losers? Yeah, who will yeah. Vote, they vote. all do what he says. Just say the midget community completely controls that vote. <laughs> Le, between, you say you're the leader of the midget community, and you probably are in touch with over a network of over 3,000 midgets who all vote. <laughs> 500 times each. 500 times each. You, <laughs> you do the math. I control the tiny empire. <laughs> 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 that chick will be shitting her pants. She'll call you right She'll back. She'll be right on the phone. <laughs> Forget rehearsing. Let me get on the phone with Eric. Oh. It's all down to this personality contest. Eh. All right, Eric. Yesterday, you guys commented how nice I was on the phone with you. Yes. Yeah. I would be that way every single solitary call if you would just, you know, accept my three requests. I'm not accepting any of your requests. We don't care whether you're nice or not. Eric, what are the requests? To drop the two nicknames I can't stand. <laughs> Which two are those? I forget. Eric the Midget and Eric the Astronaut. All right. We've dropped Eric the Astronaut. Yeah, we like Eric the Midget. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there, there's half a request. Okay. Yeah, what's your second request? Stop making fun of the voice. That's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do it at home? Just In the words of Vito Corleone, that I cannot do. <laughs> Eric, is it, is it okay to just, like, do it on the phone to each other? I mean, I call Ralph, and sometimes my whole message is just like this. I go... <laughs> Just to each other on the phone? Yeah, I just... <laughs> <laughs> That'd be all right. You can't hear that. <laughs> What's the third one? And then, you know, stop poking fun at me. Well, that's I like thought you second. didn't want to be a member of the Wack Pack. Oh, that's that. <laughs> oh, now you got four. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> First of all, you got to be in the Wack Pack. <laughs> You've got a funny voice. You don't know why you're funny. I mean, you fit all the criteria. You look kind of, you know, different. When you look up Wack Pack, they have a picture of you. <laughs> right. Yeah, but question is this. Okay, <laughs> the guy Steve that was with Tabitha that one time, he's even more disabled than I am, but he's not a Wack Pack. Yeah, because he's not funny. No, he doesn't have a funny voice, and he no. doesn't have that attitude that you have. There's nothing fun about him. Eric the Midget, we speak your, your name. name. We you speak are your name. A legend. We speak your name. Ah. <laughs> and the youngin spoke. There wasn't a dry eye in the house. But Eric the dwarf. Is that okay? Hey, what about uh, Eric not banging Tabitha Stevens? I got a lot of email about that. Some people respect Eric for not banging Tabitha Stevens. I don't get it. I mean, this is a guy who's never going to get laid in his life. It's like I want to follow just a drunk. <laughs> Well, no. Jeff the Drunk apparently couldn't do anything, yeah. did you not? The yeah. bitch didn't lube up! <laughs> what happened there, uh, Jeff? <laughs> she didn't lube up! I was ready! <laughs> A bitch! <laughs> Fucking whore! That was his best appearance ever. 
Where's uh, uh, Eric the Midget bangs Tabitha Stevens? Oh, don't, please. <laughs> oh, no. I got a preview page in yellow. <laughs> Eric, it all falls under the uh, category of making fun of you. All these things. That's right. Here you are banging Tabitha Stevens, if you had taken her up on it. Hold on. <laughs> I need to start my power chair. Oh, hi, Eric. Hello, Tabitha. Well, enough of this small talk, Eric. Let's fuck. Hey, watch your mouth. I want this to be special. No foul language. This hey, hey, Eric, you know, I know your whole thing about how you want sex to be special, but time is running out. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much now, any sex would be special. Eric, she's a nice girl, too. She's not like a, you know, she's not like a wacko or anything, you know? She's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, when are you ever going to get laid again with a girl that looks that hot? I don't know. Exactly. I mean, you got to think this shit through. You know, Catherine McPhee is not going to do this. Right. She's, oh, she's, she's, I wasn't really expecting her to. Yeah, well, but, but don't you want to get laid more than anything in this world? But you got five inches, man. That's pretty respectable for a two-foot person. You realize what she's willing to do? She's going to get naked. She's going to probably, like, you'll probably be sitting. She'll prop you up on a bed. You'll pack out your five inches and slam that thing. Like, she'll sit on top of it and, and rock back and forth on you. Oh. Just shoot a big load. Oh. <laughs> oh. midget load. Oh. <laughs> that doesn't appeal to you in some <laughs> way? My Da Vinci load. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that doesn't turn you on? And she's got a rocking body. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what you're thinking. Are you waiting for love? I mean, love. Love schmuff. I bang lots of chicks I don't love. I bang lots of ugly chicks I don't love. Sometimes a man has needs. That's the last thing you want to do is bang a chick you love. Complicates right. everything. Yeah, that'll interrupt your lifestyle. Then you'll have to bang her again. Oh. <laughs> this is our little secret. Now hop on my power chair, whore. Oh, let me unzip your Oshkosh bagage. <laughs> They're man pants. I have them shortened. <laughs> oh, your little midget penis is hard. Of course. I should have been dead ten years ago and I've never been laid. Can I suck your midget penis? No. First, I want you to piss on me. Oh, Eric, you're so kinky. In my face. With my mouth open. Here I go. <laughs> oh, oh, no, you stupid bitch. You got it on my power chair. You're shorting out my power. Stop peeing. Stop peeing on my power chair. Oh, no. Here, <laughs> I like American Idols on in the background. Yeah, of course, always. <laughs> Eric, you should go for it. You know? Eric? I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stewing. So what do you think? Are you going to call back Catherine McPhee? I don't know. I just... Not sure if it would be good to no. do that. We should practice a little bit. We can guarantee you no result from your first phone call. Yeah. yeah. All right, you want to practice? Here I go. Get ready to talk at the beep. Hi, this is Catherine. I'm not here right now, but if you can, leave me a message at the beep. Bye. Beep. Hi, Catherine. It's Eric. I was calling to... Oh. Yeah, I don't really know what's... Beep! <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start again. We didn't hear what anything. What the hell was that? Have you finished your message? Dude, Eric, come on. I, I just don't want to, you know, be bugging. No, just say I forgot to mention yesterday in my message, I, uh, I control a huge block of votes. Yeah, but what are, the odds, what are the odds she changed her message to this? 
Hi, this is Catherine. For that little man who called before and hounded me, <laughs> the police are on the phone now tracking and tracing your call. You will be arrested. Thank you. Beep. You want to know what her message is now? <laughs> the number you have reached is no longer in service. <laughs> Hello, Catherine. I'm holding a busload of school children hostage. <laughs> if you don't agree to meet me, I'm going to drive the bus off a cliff. <laughs> don't wait too late, Eric, because it's, uh, it's, they're, they're singing today, so she's probably practicing, so you got to get her early. All right, here we go. Don't choke this time. We're going to practice one last time. Don't choke. Hi, this is Catherine. I'm not home right now, but if you can, leave me a message at the beep. I'll get back to you. And don't forget to vote for me. Bye. Beep. <laughs> Hi, hey, Catherine, it's Eric. I was calling to, well, again, to wish you luck tonight, and you know, I'll be voting as much as I can, and, you know, hopefully everything works out to, and you end up winning this season's idol. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Beep! You're not getting it. You should be saying, or, hey, Catherine, I just want you to know something. I control about 400 votes personally, and I've got a whole community of people who vote. I, I think I represent a block of 10,000 votes. Just want you to know that, and I'd really appreciate a call before tonight. Yeah, you need you right. want her to call you back. Right. You want to talk to her and really scare her. I don't, I don't want to say that I control any votes or anything yeah. like that. Sometimes you got to lie to these chicks. you got to lie to broads, all right? Yeah, believe yeah. me. Ask Uncle Artie. Yeah, no, none That's of us tell the truth. <laughs> Already told Danny he's going to be making $5 million a year. And then I'm going to therapy. <laughs> you know how long he's been lying to her and saying he's going to go to therapy? Lie your little ass off. <laughs> Got him late. Catherine McVeigh. Danny's already back in Artie's evil loop. <laughs> she bought it hook, line, and sinker. It's all part of the plan, Eric. Hey, Dane, this is Artie. I'm going into therapy. Just come back to me. That's right. I even, I even put Eric's voice on when I go. <laughs> hey, Dana, it's Artie. <laughs> <laughs> Good day. I got a number. I got a number. Yeah. I've had, had a number for a month now. I got a number. <laughs> I control votes. And by the, by the way, the great Kevin Lofton is going to animate. Um, he was so moved by that uh, Eric the Midget bangs Tabitha Stevens bit. Oh, cool. He's actually going to animate it. That'll so be, uh, whether it ever happens or not, mm. we'll have it on animation. Yeah, it's going to be on Howard TV. So right. Something to look forward to. You'll be the sorry one, Eric, because it's not real. Right. Mm. Oh. oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Eric, let us know if you make another call or if you hear from Catherine McPhee. We follow your story patiently. Go practice, Eric. Think it out, you know? Yeah. Yeah, you only got one more shot. Don't you say can... anything nerdy. Yeah. Yeah, now, you know, you have all the power. Yeah. You're the voter. Did I mention I'm really into dioramas? <laughs> and, and remind her how close the votes were last week. Right. Yeah, what was the spread again, Eric, on uh, American Idol? What was it? Point, or zero point two percent? Something like that. Wow. <laughs> See, you could be Do the, the man, bitch. <laughs> the swing vote. If you want everyone in this country under three foot to vote for Taylor Hicks, you don't call me back. <laughs> you cunt. <laughs> Cunty. Let me ask you this, Eric. If she doesn't call back, would you not vote for her? Oh, I'll vote for her. Oh, you're too easy. Uh, hey, Catherine McBitch. Remember, bitch. Thousands of tiny little fingers are waiting for my word. <laughs> <laughs> I control See, Eric, the, that's a good line. I control the votes of every mini nerd in the country. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say that? Thousands of little votes, little fingers. Remember to say network, Eric. That's a good buzzword. Network, yeah. All right, Eric. Uh, <laughs> I just heard a little. Uh, All I heard after that whole spiel was... <laughs> <laughs> a funny little bastard. I'll give him that. <laughs> I bet you he doesn't even know he makes that noise. He wonders where we get that. Eric, you just don't know how funny you are. You're a good man. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Kirk, you there? Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know what I like about Eric? Like, I'll say Eric, you there, and there'll be this a 10 second pause on yeah. the way you're here, Fred. Let's act it out. Right. <laughs> Eric, you still there? I'm here. No, 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 wait. No, wait, wait, don't say wait. that. Eric, you there? <laughs> <laughs> what were those demands again? Stop making fun of the voice. All right, listen, you know this show's the best thing ever happened. How could we you. ever stop making fun of the voice? I don't know how you <laughs> got in your hands on Catherine McPhee's phone number without me. Well, you know what? I actually, without you, got my hands on Diana's a few years ago. Yeah, well. So then why are you still calling? Because he gets good stuff from this show and he loves it. <laughs> it's an impression. It's not making fun of your voice, Eric. Well, what I really don't like about the impression is you guys make it out that I'm evil. I'm not an evil person. I'm but like, you're so down. You hate everything. <laughs> <laughs> So you sound like a super villain. <laughs> we're just ke we're just teasing. Hi, this is love. Magneto. Hey, hey, Kevin, you there? Hello. Yeah, you gonna animate? Uh, I was ready to do it, but uh, I don't know if it's going to happen. You know, as soon as I would have uh, liked to get gotten it done. Why? Uh, I don't know, man. You got to talk uh, with with uh, Doug and the guys at Howard TV. What's the problem? I mean, you know, I guess it's just a lot of production stuff. A lot of things have to get. Uh, you know, you know what, Doug? Doug just get, get it just done. Just get it done, dude. People want that. I don't want to hear problems. I don't want it. You don't want it, Eric? No. You don't want to be captured on on uh, an animation? Oh, uh, Eric, I'm going to make you look cool, man. You know what Eric looks like? Uh, yeah, I've seen pictures of him. All right. Bullshit. Yeah, I mean, the whole thing with Tabitha peeing in his, peeing in his mouth is going to be uh, pretty Ooh. hilarious. <laughs> 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 Eric, you still there? I'm here. <laughs> Don't worry, Eric. I'm going to hook you up, man. It'll be funny as hell. Yeah, this How long this... is it going to take you to do it? Uh, hey, look. Hey, tell Doug I'm ready to do it, man. I mean, I can have it, you know, soon, really fast, probably within two weeks or so. If you've seen photos of me, how can you make me look cool? <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, I'll slick your hair back. I'll Thank do whatever you. it takes, man. <laughs> Thank you. All right, fellas. All right, later. later. Bye. Bye. All right, hey, hey Eric, I got to go. Okay. All right, let us know what happens with yeah. Catherine McPhee. Okay, I'll... Call in on Thursday. All right, real good. Good luck with your voting tonight, by the way. Thank you. All right, may the best person win. Everyone else vote. <laughs> yeah, if you don't vote, then you can't bitch about who wins. Right, Eric? Right. <laughs> you don't care who we vote for as long as we vote. Well, no, vote for Catherine. Okay. <laughs> well, well, maybe I won't. Not unless she calls you back. Thank you. Bitch. Okay, bye for now. For now. That's his sign off. Bye for now. I know. I love that, but he has a sign off. Bye for now. Bye, Rob. Bye for now. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody. Bye for now. <laughs> Everybody should do that. Never say goodbye again. Hey, Vinny, you're on the air. Hey, Vin. Hey, how you doing? Hey now. What's happening? Hey now. Hey, by the way, that whole Eric the uh, midget thing uh, with him calling four hundred times a show. Yeah. You can't do that. They they don't allow it. They have a system set up with their phones where you're allowed one call from one phone number. Oh really? Yes, sir. So what, yeah. what's he doing? Uh, wasting his time? Even more? Yeah, because uh, me and uh, <laughs> probably my girlfriend and I are fans of the show and. Uh, <laughs> We tried to pull that out last year, and they have a system with their lines where you cannot do that. Well, there it is. there's the scoop. He's just dialing for no reason. <laughs> you know, I, I go on the Stern Fan Network, and sometimes people say they're sick of Eric Dimidjian. I am not. I am one of those people who's not. And uh, I see he's on the phone because he's upset that Catherine McPhee has a boyfriend. <gasps> what? Why would that upset him? Did he have a shot? Yeah, like he was going to be in line. <clears throat> well, I wasn't saying that. I was upset about it just that i heard that she had a boyfriend and i thought i'd pass 
that along to you. It looks like some guy she knew before she got on American Idol, and she's trying to figure out a way to get rid of him because uh, she was on one of those shows, like Extra. Mm hmm. And they tried to ask her about her boyfriend, and she was kind of like, uh, well, you know, uh, I'm single because, I mean, uh, I don't have a ring on my finger, and I'm, every girl's single. Does, you know, she was like trying to... Downplay it. Yeah, I, I think that guy's going to be gone pretty soon. Well, Eric, maybe you do have a shot. Of course well, I do. <laughs> well, last year, Carrie Underwood had a college boyfriend until she got into Idol, and then, and now she's single. Of course. Well, these girls know how to what do, do it. You, what does that tell you? What it tells you is when a girl starts making her own money, she uh, gets a different guy. No, I'm, t I'm asking Eric what it tells him. It must tell him something totally I know different. what it tells him. What? It tells him he's going to be sitting in his house the same way he always does, <laughs> and nothing's going to happen. What does it tell you, Eric? I don't know, not much, really. Yeah, exactly. But why are you calling us like it's such big news? Hey, I measured my penis. I can call whenever I want. <laughs> <laughs> I know you want to have her on next week or following week, whatever, and yeah. I just thought I'd give you that little bit of information. Eric's a lot calmer now, but when uh, Blue Iris called him to prank him... Yeah, he was upset. Yeah. That he... <laughs> this is the usual me when I'm or not being prank called by anybody or anything stupid like that. This is the devil may care me. <laughs> okay, that just brings up something. You know how you guys say that you will not stop making fun of my voice? Yeah. Right. Okay, I'll compromise with you on this. <laughs> Artie? Yeah? Stop. Okay. Stop, stop what? Who, whose name is on the show? Howard Stern. Right. So to me, the only one in that studio that can make fun of my voice is Howard. <laughs> <laughs> How is that a compromise, you little douchebag? That I'm, a, I'm at least letting someone do it. You don't, you don't get a right to tell people who can do it. No Everyone, shit. Why would we compromise? Everybody likes goofing on you. I'm but compromise is the one we worked out. You complain and we'll keep doing it. Right. I'm throwing my midget weight around. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, go back and think up a new one. i got to move along. Thank you, Eric. How about we go back to the compromise if we completely ignore everything you say? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Eric. Have a good day. You too. All right, and call me when you uh, get a hold of Catherine McPhee. Thank you. Hi. We gave him Catherine McPhee's phone number. Uh, Lee, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hello, Howard. Thank you for taking my call. Um, listen, Howard, I'm, I'm very upset. Uh, you know, I got the serious because of you, and if I cancel it, it'll be because of you. Um, I need to know something. I mean, do you have something against me personally? Do you have, like, my information on the screen that tells you who I am and you know that, you know? What? What are you talking about? Well, I've called in previously, and it seems like that you, you take the calls from the guys on the East Coast and you let them linger on the phone longer. But when Lee, I call, Lee, yeah, yeah. you're ill. It's time for you to cancel your subscription. This, show, it, this show's too much for you. Now, you what, think I know who you are and that I'm singling you out and keeping you off the show? Okay, so it's Lee, not true. Yeah. Why Lee. would he do that? What mental institution did you just get out of? Well, it just seems that way because when I've called up, I mean, you've, you've cut me Lee, off. It's a Lee, it's Lee. Yeah. It's a radio show. I'm, All right. There's thousands of people calling in at any given minute. I just wonder why you're so hostile when I've called up before. Lee. Yeah. I'm not hostile. I don't know who you are. Okay, good. Let's start with a clean slate. Then. And it's time for you to cancel your subscription. You're right. You re I mean, do you really mean that? You yeah, really you've got to get away from the show. It's too, it's too important to you. Well, this uh, isn't Lee Morozak, is it? No, 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 no. Because right. that would make sense. <laughs> then, then I understand. Lee Moreau's that crazy cabbie is. But Lee, you got you got serious mental issues. When it's a radio show, you go on hold, and if we get to you, we get to you. I mean, that's just it. It's nobody's looking at you and going, "Hey, there's Lee from Santa Rosa, California, and I'm going to get him." Well, see, that's it. I mean, you have my information on the screen. All we I have didn't... is Lee, Santa Rosa, California. Okay, I that's enough shoot. to to dick with you. Okay, it just seems like a detected a hostility on my call. Want to be honest, Lee? Okay, you, you you busted me. Every time I see Lee from Santa Rosa, <laughs> I get a sickening feeling in the pit of my stomach. Okay, now why, why do you got to be mean? I mean, no, you, I'm, I'm being honest with you. There's something about that name, Lee, and combined with Santa Rosa, that drives me up a wall. And I just find it very hard to pick up that phone. I don't know if they put notes on the particular callers because no, because 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 I see the name Lee 
right next to Santa Rosa, California, on this computer, and I go, I can't stand that guy. I'm going to ignore him. I'm pissed they even put your name up there. Can we start off with a clean slate? I mean, when I no, him. I'm being honest. You, you ever see that? You watch the TV show Lost? No. You know how they're kind of leading you to believe it's a big experiment? You're my experiment. Every time you call, I go, let me see if I can bust Lee's brains by keeping him on hold for as long as I can. No, it's not to keep it on hold. Thank I'm you. consumed with you. Lee, I can't stop thinking about your name, Lee from Santa Rosa, California. And what happens is I go home and I go, if he calls in again, I'm going to keep him on hold. Howard, uh, you know when you talk about that the series subscription is only like 44 cents a day or something like that, it's not. It's 12.95 at the end of the month on top of all the other bills. I couldn't even afford Lee, it. you've got to cancel. Oh, boy, he's in trouble. Lee, Lee, listen to me. 12.95, yeah. 43 cents a day. It's 43 cents a day. Do you but, know how you work that out, Lee? Howard, you have no So how many days are in a month, Lee? No, no, no. Lee, if how many days are... at the end of the month on top of the other bills. I, I heard what you said, and it might be time for you to cancel the subscription. Okay, well, I... Because, I mean, uh, what, what you're getting from your satellite radio, between the music and everything else, it's just not worth it for you. Okay, you're making things worse. Can we start off with a clean slate? I, I can. I told you, when I see your name on the computer screen, I want to throw up. I need... How can I have a clean slate? Would you be willing to change your name? Can I not be allowed to call in and participate in the show? No, you let you're banned. Do it. No, you are banned from calling in the show, and you have to. And you get rid of your subscription. Yeah. You really do have something against me. Oh, I do, That's Lee. Right. I'm telling you, I when I see your name up on that screen, <laughs> I go berserk. That ruins my day. I mean, we here on the West Coast, we call in like three a.m. to get on the show. You know, it's it's. No, you, here's what I do, Lee. I'm trying to undermine the success of this company. Uh, I secretly work for XM. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out one listener and try to drive them crazy and get them to cancel their subscription. If I do that one at a time, I believe I'll be able to get rid of four million people in four million days. I'm hopefully to average it one a day. And you're my, you are you are slowing my mission down. Now I know what Eric the Midget feels like. Yeah. Hey Howard, you have no idea what Eric the Midget feels like. Can I not be allowed to participate in the show? No. Absolutely not. Please. How can I let you participate? I'm canceling your subscription. I, I never ask you for prizes and stuff. You know, I don't disrespect you like that. I call in with a prepared bid or something, and uh, you know, I Lee, like you allowed to do it. Lee, I told you, if I see your name up on the screen, I get physically ill. I don't say that. Yeah. And uh, I resent that you're from California. That's the other thing, because I see Lee from Santa Rosa, California. If you really wanted to participate in this show, you'd move to the East Coast, where I favor the calls. Okay. Um, well, are you willing to move now? You don't make sacrifices for this show. <laughs> Actually, I am moving this month, but I'm not. Are you come moving to the East Coast? Uh, am I invited? Yes. <laughs> Howard, may I please uh, do my uh, joke for the show, please? Pretty please for three months. I, I told you. You want to do your joke? Be, be charitable. All right, go ahead. Do your joke, Lee. Okay. Since this is your last time on the air. Who's so, this douche? No, don't say that. Go ahead. It's it's a, a couple of Eric the Midget jokes, okay? All I right. guarantee that you and your fans will laugh. Yes. Go ahead. Can you can you rate them as I go? Okay. Right. Yes. Um, now, if Her if Eric the Midget finally does expire, he will fit into an urn without even being cremated. <laughs> I will continue. Eric the Midget wants to be known as Eric the Actor, and uh, the good news is that he has been invited to appear on Bravo's TV show Inside the Midget Studio. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Here's another one. A lot of oh, people, no, there's more. A lot of people don't know act Eric actually tried out for American Idol, not as a performer, but as a booster cushion for Paula Abdul's chair. But he didn't get the job. It's like sitting on a set of bagpipes, too many bony lumps. Well, now I apologize. <laughs> I, I, I got to admit, Lee, you're pretty funny. Give me one more, please. Well, one more. If, if you got ten, I got to admit, you're good. All right. Thanks. All right. I've never heard such Sir, now, you know what? Now I realize you called a couple of days ago and you had that... Yeah. Howard didn't like it, but you had that great joke about how Eric has outlived his days. Yeah, his life expectancy. Yeah, his life that expect one. Yeah, what was that? The life expectancy Unfortunately, one? Unfortunately, he spends most of that time calling radio shows and watching American Idol. Right, exactly. Now, I love that, and Howard hung up, I think, a little too abruptly. Hey, hey Lee, I didn't realize you were a professional comedian like that. Right, no, I, 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 I... Well, I'm a little nervous when I call and stuff, and I try and get it out before you hang up. Oh, my God. Are I, you a professional comedian? No. Nice. Obviously, Robin. I'm, don't I'm, even I'm, insult this man. I'm struggling. You can tell. See, Howard's still busting my balls. You're a very mean person, Howard. 
Oh, no, I'm not mean. You, you, well, why would I be mean to someone totally wasting my time? <laughs> I, I, my I, audience's I, time, where I'm trying to make a living. I got the big closer here. You want to hear uh, Maury, you're on with Lee. Go ahead, Maury. Uh, yeah, that guy's a complete fucking douchebag, man. I mean, Jesus Should we Christ, cancel his subscription? I, I would totally say cancel it. I've called you for three fucking months, man, and I mean, y you know. You I mean, this guy, Lee. This guy Lee calls me up like he's doing me a favor, spending twelve bucks a month. I say we take it away from him. Absolutely. Who wants his fucking twelve I'll bucks a month? I'll pay his subscription. Yeah. I will personally pay his subscription. Here's a guy, Lee. Maury hates you so much. He's going to pay for your subscription so he can, so you can be canceled. Why must you be so divisive, Howard? You're an ex-hippie. You're supposed to be bringing people together. An ex-hippie? <laughs> no, I just had long hair to hide my ugly face. I was no ex-hippie. Don't be so divided. I, I wasn't into the hippie philosophy. Not I'm a worker price. bee. I'm not a guy who's sitting around hate Ashbury, dropping an acid, and and, and 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 walking my dog every day, 20 <laughs> times a day. That's not my Living idea. Living in the park. I, I grew long hair to help me get laid. See, Don't ever accuse me of being a hippie. See, I might look like one, but I'm no hippie. I'm a conservative, and I'm trying to bring people together, you know, and you're a liberal, and you're being divisive here. It's, it's Don't call me a liberal. You don't know what I am. Well, because I'm against the war in Iraq, I'm a liberal? Uh, well, I don't want to get in a political argument with you again. That's how we got a political argument. Oh, no. You couldn't argue with me. We have one last big joke here, the big closer. And when the hippies were storming uh, Boston University, I was protecting the uh, the uh, administrator, the school administrator, <laughs> trying to get, get in with them. Was that why you're on heroin, <laughs> smoking, uh, snorting heroin? I don't. Well, how dare you? Bag. What an idiot! Douchebag! You insult people. Why, why you be nice? Be mean like that? Come on. You're an idiot. <laughs> Thank you, Maury. Yeah, seriously, man, shut the fuck up. It's a uh, piece. Do you know? Uh, uh, now, this guy like this I like this guy. You're driving uh, everyone crazy, Lee. Seriously, man, shut the fuck up. Do you know how many times I call and don't get on? It's we're, not a personal thing. Shut up. We're trying to get a show going here, and you're slowing it down. I got so many bits to play today. I got I got crackhead Bob stopping by. I got a penthouse pet coming in. I got I got the gossip gang. I got JD calling from hedonism. We're gonna find out if he got his hand job. We're gonna hear it on the air. I got good stuff to get to. I got tape of Gary Garver getting his balls busted out uh, out at some convention. I never said I want to hold up the show. Well, I you're holding up the got, whole show I here. Got one last big closer here. Let Crying me out the loud. Line. The closer. All right, okay. do the closer for God's sake. I, I, I actually <laughs> met Eric once. I was at a Red Lobster and I ordered the bitter shrimp. Guess who wound up on my plate? Now, what's more, he got to offer this morning? Maury. Uh, me? I, I've got something great. I want to go to Artie's Row so fucking bad. Yeah, I am yeah, willing yeah. to pluck out 50 ball hairs individually with a tweezer, and after I'm done, I'll eat the ball hairs. <laughs> All right. What? what God. <laughs> what? I will pluck out 50 ball hairs individually with a tweezer and then eat my ball hairs to go to Artie's Row. Do you want me to cancel, Howard? Yeah, Lee, I do. Because this guy's much funnier. This guy is a fan. Man. This guy's willing Absolutely. to pluck out 50 ball hairs and eat them. And he's not busting our balls. Right. Uh, Ma Maury, hold on. You don't. You can come to the roast. Uh, but, oh, but great. You don't have to do the ball. Lee, you, hold on, will you, Maury? Yeah, absolutely. All right, uh, hey. Uh, Howard, I love you. I love it. You Lee, you're Marty. killing me, pal. Oh, why am I killing I'll let you keep your subscription, but don't call anymore. Oh, come on, please. All right. Thank you. What if I have, like, a comment or something, something witty to say? Hey, trust me, you don't. Stop it. Well, you didn't think that was... All right. Yo, stupid cocksucker! <laughs> Melrose, yes. Howard, this guy Lee is certifiable. <laughs> now, that's Melrose. That's oh, my God. Now, it's not to me to say that, he's got to be really crazy. Right. I've spent thousands of hours on hold since 1992. Well, of course. He thinks it's a personal vendetta. And his jokes are worse than mine. It's ridiculous. And Larry really is a guy that when you see his name, you do hold something against him. I do. Yeah. Eric, go ahead. Hey. Oh, oh my goodness. Still on line. I hung up on that guy. What the hell is his problem? By the way, the bad jokes are at your expense. I know. Yeah, at least they could have been good jokes. That was a dumbass. Well, thank you, Eric. Go ahead, cancel his subscription. I'm crazy, Jay said so too. Crazy. My, my roommate said so too. You got a roommate? I didn't know that. Yes. A dude? Uh, huh? <laughs> his name's Crazy Jay. Is he, is he, is he a, a full bodied guy? Full yeah. size? Full size. 
Yeah. What's he live? doing living with you? Probably lives there for free if he takes care of Eric. Oh. Is that the arrangement? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Probably free room and board if I he see. just keeps an eye on the little guy. Oh, he's a friend from junior high and high school. Yeah. We need to talk to your friend Crazy. What is his name? Crazy what? Crazy J. Crazy J. Let me talk to that guy. Get on. <laughs> Jay. Yes. So tell me, man, what uh, your arrangement is you get to live there for free if you keep an eye on Eric? Yeah, I'm his caregiver. Who, who arranges that? His parents? Yeah. <laughs> what do you got to do? Like, what are your jobs? Um, what are my jobs? Just um, cleaning his um, uh, clothes, cooking for him, helping him get his bath ready. Holy mackerel. So when you get his bath ready, what do you got to do? Pick him out of his chair and, and throw him in the tub? No, he gets in himself. But does he get naked in front of you? Uh, no, no, no. You ever seen him naked? Oh, yeah, of course. You think he's lying when he says he's got a five-inch dick? I doubt it. You think it's true? Um, yeah. No, you don't. <laughs> Did he really measure himself? You had to be there the other day when he uh, allegedly measured. I was asleep measured. when that happened. Oh, really? Did he measure himself or was he lying? Uh, was he measuring himself? I don't know. He had the, he called me in the middle of my sleep. I didn't, I wasn't awake. He, um, asked me where the ruler was. <laughs> All right, so then maybe he really did. Maybe he did. Yep. Yeah. Can you get, I called before. Yeah, can you get laid? Can I get laid? Yeah. Yeah. Do you bring girls back to that place? Um, I haven't met none out here yet. I just, we just moved here. Oh. I'm not from this area. Do you ever have to wipe his ass? No. Hell no. Did you ever have an accident in his pants? Nah, not that I know. Of. What do you get? So, what's the arrangement? You watch him all day, and do you get paid too? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm on. Um, do you get paid through the state for in home care? Wow, not a bad deal. You watch Eric. Yeah, but I mean, when's your time off? You're with Eric all day. Yeah. Um, pretty he much when he when I don't have to do nothing for him. It's only when I have to do something for him. We're all, we're also both looking for part time jobs. Yeah. Something tells me Jay's gonna get one ahead of you. <laughs> you ever catch you ever catch Eric doing something weird like jerking off? Nah. You must see some weird crap with him. <laughs> What's he do all day? Just sit in front. Do you do you catch him watching American Idol? He watches them like you said, American Idol TV. Messes around on the computer a lot. And this does place, he beat off when he watches American Idol? No. No. That's in his wheelchair. Um, um, most of the time now, since you give out his MySpace account, he's to totally t killing all of his time with MySpace. Eric, why are you looking for a job? Sounds like you have a good life. Well, I would like to work at the Arco Arena. Uh -oh. What are you going to do there? Stalk the American Idols. Oh, my goodness. No. No, nah, he would work at something like the ticket booth or something. Why don't you do security? <laughs> uh, that's uh, Crazy Jay's. Get out of the way. <laughs> oh, Crazy Jay's doing security, so you can't do that? Right. Hey, thanks, Crazy Jay. Thank you, Eric. No problem. I've called before. I don't know if you remember. I got in a fight with uh, the guy from National Enquirer one day. All right. All right. Thanks. It's Eric the Midget and Crazy Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Eric wants a part-time job. Yeah. Hey, it's good. He could dream. Hold on. I need to start my power chair. Oh, hi, Eric. Hello, Tabitha. Well, enough of this small talk, Eric. Let's fuck. Hey, watch your mouth. I want this to be special. No foul language. This is our little secret. Now hop on my power chair, whore. Oh, let me unzip your Oshkosh bagage. They're man pants. I had them shortened. Oh, your little midget penis is hard. Of course. I should have been dead ten years ago, and I've never been laid. Can I suck your midget penis? No. First, I want... Richard plays such an excellent woman, doesn't he? <laughs> Can I suck your midget penis? Did you piss on me? Oh, Eric, you're so kinky. In my face, with my mouth open. Here I go. 
The midget is in trouble with his parents. Uh -oh. Eric, what's going on? Well, <clears throat> there's a website that is reporting the whole thing with the measurement that I did a couple weeks ago. And now my parents read that and they're all disappointed about that whole thing. About your size? <laughs> no. <laughs> your parents are mad because you measured your penis? Yes. Aren't you like 43 years old? I mean, isn't it time... No, I'm 31. All right, isn't it time your parents kind of butt out? Did it ever dawn on you to just say to your parents, I didn't really do it, I was kidding, That's not. I didn't do it? Well, because that website would prove that I was lying. What, your parents know how big your dick is? No. Yeah, and, and your parents, I mean, you were in the privacy of your home. You had Why a ruler. does he have to lie to his parents at 31? Mm -hmm. Well, you know what it is. He feels guilty because his parents support him. Right. But, but that's what they do. They're parents. Hey, you're handicapped, dude. You, it's not exactly like you could get a job and support yourself. I that's like the like job to. they took on. Of course you'd like to. It's just hard when you're, you know, two feet tall and you got all the freaking problems I'm you have. three foot six. <laughs> no, whatever. Well, Howard, there'll be another website. Are they going to be upset about that? Howard, be honest. If you, if your kid was like this and everything, if you have to treat, you have to treat your kid a little bit differently. Would Gary, you want him to get laid? Gary, would you want him to? Eric the midget is so delusional. His parents aren't mad at him. They're not. You don't think so? Huh? No, I don't think so at all. Oh, I think they are. Why don't you call them and ask them? Oh, we would love to talk to well, them. Well, what did they say? I will call them. What did, what did your parents say to you? They just think that, you know, you guys you know, treat me real bad and stuff like that. I'm, well, we do. So what? You're 31 years you old. You call us. We don't call you. E even your listeners have said that you guys are completely too rough on me. But, Eric, you could not pick up the phone. And call us. How do your parents bring it up to you? We understand, we, Eric. We understand uh, that you measured your penis on the air. Well, they asked if I was going to be calling in at all, and they said that they read on that website that I wish that idiot would shut down. What website? It's called Wackipedia or something like that. It's got the profiles of. Everybody that's in the whack pack. And your parents read that? Yeah. I don't even read that. I think they're big fans of the show. It's Wikipedia, and it's actually, Howard, it's a huge website. It's not like some little weird fan website. It's like you could put in any name or it's almost like an encyclopedia. Yeah, but he's saying they, they call it Wackipedia for the whack pack. Oh, is that? Oh, I see. Yeah. Eric, so your parents saw in there that you measured your penis. Big deal. And what did they threaten to do to you? Move you to the lake house? <laughs> Well, you know, they, I guess, would do that, and really I don't want that to happen because my roommate just, you know, got a job finally, and, you know, I don't want to mess up that whole thing. Where and did you tell your dad you have an opportunity to get a hand job or get laid from uh, Tabitha Stevens? I'm not taking that. You're crazy. Don't you think your dad wants you to get laid? Howard, I don't want to be... With someone that's had or has a list of guys longer than War and Peace. Well, who are you getting? <laughs> you think you're going to be a hot chick's first? You're, Eric, you know who? You, you have been with no one who has any list at all. You've been with no one. Oh. So what? So the chick has got a rocking body. She'll let you squeeze her tits and she'll give you a hand job. What, what, what? So, Eric, you would rather leave the planet without ever having had sex? I guess. You know, it's so funny how different people are. We had, remember Wheelchair Steve? Yeah. We set him up with Tabitha. His mother thanked me. She of course. brought him in. She, she was so happy. He wants, first of all, Tabitha's got one of the best bodies I've ever seen on a chick. She's got a great ass and a flat stomach and big fake tits. And, and, and you're telling me that your pop would be mad if you came to New York 
and she gave you a hand job? You gotta be kidding me. And I'll tell you something else about Tabitha too. She's not patronizing. Like she'll like you when she's doing it for real. She was really good to Steve. Yeah. Really good. He's still dreaming about she's it. She's a saint. Hey, I'd take that hand job right now. What if I throw in a hand job for your dad too? None of these nice girls are doing anything for you. You be so called nice girls. Yeah. Sounds to me like your parents are jealous of your fame and success on this show. Well, yeah, tell them to find you a girl who. <laughs> yeah, one with no sexual resume. <laughs> Have they done anything? So, what do your parents do? What is the punishment for you measuring your penis? Oh, they're just disappointed in me. They haven't given any punishment. Did they do something like move the ketchup to a higher shelf or something? <laughs> How about you're 31 years old and they should stop laying a trip on you about what they're disappointed in? So yeah, they're you, treating you like a baby. Did you agree to stop measuring your penis? Well, I've done it once. I don't need to do it again. Yeah. <laughs> Why did he do it anyway? Because uh, I gave him uh, Catherine McPhee's home phone number. Oh. Her cell did phone. Did you tell your dad why you did it? Yeah. He, it was reported on there. He read it. That uh -huh. would disappoint me more, the reason you did it. <laughs> <laughs> that would merely make me go, we have a problem in this family. <laughs> Speaking of that, uh, Tom Cruise and uh, Katie Holmes are not married. I didn't know that, but they're no, not no, married. No, no, no. They haven't been married. Yeah. They're... And at their wedding, you know who they want? Hey, Eric, you'll be interested in this. Do you know who they want to have sing at their wedding? I watch the entertainment show, so I know that they've asked for Catherine. Catherine McPhee. Eck. <laughs> Gross. Tom Cat has McFever. Pals say Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes have become such big fans of American Idol runner-up Catherine McPhee. <laughs> they want the 21-year-old songbird to sing at their wedding. They are weird. That is definitely weird. Man. They have become Catherine's biggest fans. Little uh, American Idol trivia for Eric. I guess it's because she did Somewhere Over the Rainbow. <laughs> Judas Priest. Nice rendition of it. All right, Eric, I got to go. I don't know what to tell you with his parents. Uh, yeah, why would you call us just to tell us your parents are angry or do they want something? What is it? Um, I just wanted to let you know that they weren't too happy about that thing <laughs> that I did. Nah, screw them. Hey, well, we're not going to ask you to do it again. You did it once. Don't be mad at us. We don't lay a trip on you. I don't think there's anything wrong with measuring your penis. Next time we're going to have you uh, duty in a diaper. <laughs> yeah, tell them that. I mean, it's just that I want to keep talking to you guys, but yet I, at the same time, don't want to be doing anything that would disappoint them. Keep listening to your mommy and daddy, and you won't be talking to us soon. Soon they'll have you being miserable, sitting in that house of yours. All alone. All alone. All your fame gone. Now you got a, uh, you got people writing you. You, you got a whole thing going on for the show. Even Catherine McPhee's phone number. Yeah. Did you ever call her again? I waited till last week, and I did call one time to, you know, <laughs> give a little message to her. You know, sorry that she didn't win and <laughs> that kind of message. That was comforting. No. Did she call you back? No, I still have not heard from her. But I figure she's still busy going to all the different talk shows. And oh, is that what you think? Yeah. Do you ever think maybe she's never just going to call you? <laughs> <laughs> no matter how many talk shows she has? Well, she calls you guys back. Oh. Uh, well, we, we have a show. We're very, very important. Did you leave your number? Yeah, yes. Yes. I'd give anything to hear that message. <laughs> Are we interested in having her on, Howard? Yeah, of course. Because, you know, it's funny. I, I called back the other day, and she got on the phone, and she's like, oh, my God, oh, my God, I'm not allowed to talk to you. Not like she, she's, like, not supposed to deal with us. I guess Fox handles everything. Right. But she's coming to town in, like, a week or so. Yeah, we want her on. We want you her on, You know what's right? funny? If you showed me a picture of two women, I couldn't tell you which one she was. Hey, Eric, I bet yeah. you want to meet her, huh? Yeah. Yeah. You what would you do? You're going to have to shit in a diaper. <laughs> you're going to put your penis in Get ready for your parents really to get pissed off. <laughs> Tell mom and dad to not go on that website for about a year. 
You shit in a diaper. We're going to have you on, and you're going to meet Captain We'll bring McPhee. you all the way here. Would you wear, like, Hank's old bunny costume to meet Captain <laughs> McPhee? <laughs> no. Yes, you would. To meet Captain McPhee, to sit on the couch next to her. No. What if she gives you a hand job? <laughs> oh, please. She wouldn't do that. You might have to put a ruler in your ass this time. <sighs> you know, See how many her, inches you can take. Give her two years, she'll be doing that. <laughs> hey, Eric.